Okay, take two. Of the sound settings. Cecil, 1870 for you. Just like testing. The that's sound. where all of our news stories began. Okay, sound fault, sound fault. Streaked across the sky. Okay, take two. Of the sound settings. Sea slip 1870 for you. Just like testing. The sound. That's where all of our news stories began. Okay, sound fault, sound fault.
Hello everybody, Sucrose here. Um, today I'm going to be playing Abduction, which is a puzzly adventure game that I have not played before. And um, I'm interested in trying to play through it without getting hints or spoilers or anything like that. So hopefully you can keep those out in the chat and, uh, and let me struggle through this. That's, that's my goal. That's my hope. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So we'll see how annoying this little message in the corner is. Um, I've, I've tried this previously with uh, a game called Lama Lana where we did uh, Hell Temple Unspoiled and for the most part it worked out. So we'll see. Let's see. So Abduction is made by the same people who did Mist, uh, which is a fairly old puzzle adventure game. Um, I'm just going to say I'm not sure where to put my face also. We'll have to, might have to move that during the game, but uh, um, I have long loved these kinds of games, and in some sense I think this is going to be a bit like uh, logic puzzles and escape the room sort of stuff, maybe pick up some objects. I'm not really sure. I've only seen uh, a trailer and uh, have played through the, the most of the Mist series. I think, I think there's no music, but there, there will be. I think Free Roam lets us move as if it were a, a normal third-person game, as opposed to um, like Mist, where it's sort of controlled where you look. Let's go ahead. Um, before we move for any further, I'm just going to check everything, make sure it looks all right. Um, this, this game, as, as many tend to be, seems a little bit finicky when it comes to being streamed. And I had to struggle with the audio, so hopefully it won't be too loud or too soft for me or for you. I might have to adjust something. We all lost everything. everything. I was three. It was April of 1983. Cecil, it was 1870 for you. Sam, and Vera, you tell it like it was yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that last time. Got a little bit of narration going on. A little backstory, I think. So far, I haven't found anything I could actually click on. The game feels strange, like there's startup time to get up to speed when you move. Um, there's a lot of settings. I. I sometimes get motion sick, and so I tried to up the field of view. We'll have to see how that goes, too. Looks like there's a fire over here. It looks really crisp. Light. That's where all of our new stories began. It streaked across the sky mesmerized, oh. but unnerving. Even in daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight, it was spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil, or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Vera, you said you recall smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. 
dear grandma, God bless her, rejoiced as if some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard so we could watch it unobstructed. So the uh, the audio has, has some sort of effect, some sort of filter on it that makes it sound a little garbled, so that's not it's not the stream's fault. That's how I hear it as well. Some sort of glitchiness to it, uh, which, which is pretty weird. Can't go into the water, in case you're curious. Um, also, there was a sign, no swimming, so... Seems like we're on rails. None of us understood. But, well, we followed. And we all felt some kind of trepidation, yet attraction. As we approached it and it approached us. I have to say, I am a little bit creeped out. Um, with the glitchiness of the woman's voice and the ominousness of her message. Um, I think this light is going to be bad news. I like how the game looks, and I really like the feeling it's giving me. Um, I'm, I'm eager to see what's going to happen with the story. Okay, I cannot move. You all remember. There was no turning away. Oh dear. It advanced. Almost like... Purposefully. Spinning. Slowly until... Well... It found us. Each of us. We should tell these stories because... It, it saved us and... Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, not sure what the thing in the top right is. I thought it was a save thing, but it took so long to go away. So it may just be a logo. Oh, interesting. So, this is the thing. It looks kind of organic, but but not. I'm going to take a quick check to make sure everything is, is rolling fine. Things seem to be in the right part of the screen, I think. I think I can't get much better than this. Um, looks good. All right. Let's figure out what happened. It's nice and bright and colorful. I feel like we've woken up from a bad dream. Yes, our first thing we can take. Or at least interact with. Um, in games like this, <coughs> you, you generally have to pick up anything that's not nailed down. Um, although that's not always the case. So, so uh, the, I looked at the controls. The controls are left click interacts, right click something like changes what you do, but can't can't seem to do either. Uh, let's, let's try it again since it's the only thing in here. Oh, I can rotate, okay. Um, oh. It looks like it has a very soft blue glow. I really want to pick this up. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Right click and put it down. I know we need this. We have to 
take it somehow. Turn it back off. It looks like a hole here. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that is. So I'm just left clicking. All right, well, let's, let's come back. If we encounter other things that we can't seem to pick up, we'll just have to figure out why we can't pick up things. Hey, Rage Knot, welcome. How's it going? I really, this is a very pretty game. So I think this came out a few years ago, maybe 2016. Um, I saw kind of mixed reviews about it, but some people, you know, aren't really into puzzle games. It's like some yoga or something. Where in the? Okay, so we're not on uh, not on the little reservation anymore. There's stuff that's floating in the air. Kind of hit me. It kind of hit me uh, a little late. There's glowy things. There's like a world above us. It's funny because I actually looked up at it and I didn't even really think about it. it looks like something's over here. Welcome to Hunrath. Never heard of this game. Have you heard of Mist? So some kind of uh, this fits in kind of with the rest of the games that I've played. Uh, looks a little high tech, low tech. I guess let's press the button. Hello, bonjour, ciao, hola, hello, shora, ni hao. Welcome to Hunrat. My name is Yosef. I am the mayor here. You are most probably a bit confused and disoriented. But let me reassure you, everything will be fine. You're not the first to go through this experience. The others who have come before you will help you adjust. Follow the trail to the house with the white picket fence. Fali will meet you there and introduce you to your new life here. Um, so we've been abducted. A a a a abducted. But there's other people here who seem, seem friendly. Everyone in the universe speaks English. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how it goes. So easy to learn, you know. Um, have you have you ever heard of Mist, Reginald? Um, N Y S T. That's the game. This is pretty much inspired by and and uh, came from the same developers as. Yeah. Um, I played it when I was a kid. It was such a big deal. Everybody was talking about it. And I, I couldn't figure it out as a kid, but then I played it again as an adult and it made a lot more sense. It's so pretty though. Look at this uh, this planet. So I really want the I really want the lantern, but I couldn't figure out how to pick it up. Well, there's the house. I guess we'll we'll just come back for it. Can never get past the puzzles. The, uh, like any of the puzzles, or, or like specifically certain puzzles, the mazes. I had a hard time with the maze because I was too stubborn to make a map.
to Caroline or whoever else might come back. It has been five days and not a soul has returned. I am inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yet, surprisingly, I am still alive, and that both supremely perplexes me and gives me some portion of hope. I have retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options, CW. So one of the big shticks about uh, Mist was always that there really weren't any people around, but you you kind of learned about them and, and, and read about them. And their presence was felt, but they weren't. Oh, that's this chalk. I've got to pick up the chalk, right? Okay, another one of these things. Seems broken. So I'm clicking it, nothing's happening. Can't seem to interact with this device either. Okay, that's unsettling. Let's wear some clothes. No, no clothes. Okay. Okay. Warning. Do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. Okay. It's like a Pentagon looking Let's not let's not uh, let's not approach that. What in the world is going on? It's it's I think the thing is so peaceful and yet so disquieting. Alright, it seems like it's just locked. Uh, I'm trying to go into the windows, keep going through the windows. Okay, I think we just have to come back. And and already we've encountered like a few little things. Go to the White House, Farley will help you. And then Farley doesn't even talk and the house is locked. It's things like that really, um, I think, work to make you uncomfortable. Okay, that's... I don't remember that. Okay, so it looks like we can... I'm not really sure what it's actually doing. I mean, I assume it's changing the tracks, but I can't... I don't really see it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Um, I, I love parts like this in games where you feel like there's so much, this is like this big planet to explore and uncover the mysteries of, and you don't know what to do. And so all you can do is one little thing at a time. I, I want to check over here first for, for whatever reason. It seems like an interesting area. It's next to the house. And everything's so natural, but then there's these metal bits. Oh. So I tried to jump using space and it took a picture. Um, okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, we could use this to take pictures of hints and, and maybe um, you know, use that later on to figure out stuff, but, oh. Okay, again, we're rotating. Um, so there's a bell. It's, it's really awkward. It feels very awkward. I, so I think the, um, the draw of this game is supposed to be that you can play it in VR, maybe. 
Maybe this works better in VR, but it feels super awkward. I don't really understand what I'm doing. Um, as far as I can tell, there's nothing I can... I, I wish we could sort of zoom out. It's like, it's right up in our face. Um, these look like little nuts. Maybe we could unscrew them if we had a A nut unscrewer, sometimes called a wrench or pliers or something like that. Yeah, I, I don't think we can do anything. We can't seem to pick it up. But let's do let's do this. Take a screenshot, and that way I can remember it if I forget. And um, and since while while we're at it. Take one of that and oh. Hi, um, I'm Barbie. I guess if you're seeing this, then I wasn't even just in case. Um, welcome, but it's probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what you'll find. I just thought I should um, just be cautious. With who you trust, CW may be here. I don't know. Just be careful. I've got to go. See you soon. And don't panic. As jarring as this experience is, you really will find how to have to be a decent price. Okay. So, so why did it work? when it didn't work before. Did we see CW? Could it take a picture? It lasts longer. So CW says he retreated to his vault. It kind of sounds like from her perspective, CW is maybe sketchy. What a what a weird place. Uh, the design is fantastic, I think. Oh, it's almost like this whole house has just been transplanted here. I mean, I guess that's the idea. Um. Okay, let's look around. I. I'm pretty sure we came by on the track. And then I guess this way. I think this is where we came from. That's like the cave. Yeah, okay. Just to orient myself a little bit. So it looks like maybe a something up on the over here. Looks like a, an awning of some kind. I, I want to check out the laser. I bet we have to clear this obstruction. Uh, which doesn't look real. Um, okay. Okay. Some sort of B. Uh, it landed on the roof. It's up there on the roof. I'm down here. I got. I need some honey. I don't know if it's good or bad. It kind of it looks um 
It looks like a spider, and so I'm inclined to think that it's evil. But it's pretty and glowy. But uh, nothing is as it seems. All right, let's. This is definitely going to be a train switching puzzle. I do not see what this does. Oh, it, oh, oh, it very slightly moves it. Okay, I just don't understand trains. Okay. Um, yeah, I have no idea which. Does that mean it goes to the right? Like if it were to. It's only one way to find out. We have to get a train. This looks like a. So from the first message when we were on the riverbank, it kind of seemed like people had been taken from different times. All right, yeah, it's moving. It's just really small. So yeah, gr growing up, I really loved these games like Mist and um, Zork and the 3D Zorks, Return the Zork and stuff like that. Uh, all these super hard, and I never really played through any of them without some kind of spoilers. Uh, I'm hoping now I have all these years of video game experience we can figure one out finally for the first time without cheating. And really maybe enjoying it as it was meant to be enjoyed. It's not a not a nice place really. Oh, this is open. Probably need to turn on the lights. Um, so there was a red fire truck and now we see a little whack. This is interesting. Maybe there's kids in this place. Um, that's got to be, that's got to be a puzzle. It's also, it also adds up to 21, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So if they were playing blackjack, I don't, I don't know. see these little things and I, I feel like I need to pick them up. I guess Mist never really was a game like that. Mist was about interacting with things in the environment, not really collecting an inventory. Um, Zork was more about picking up stuff, but I don't really know what to expect with this game since it's so recent. There's a shovel and a light and not a lot I can do. But I'm okay with getting a lay of the land. As we build up an understanding of what this universe has to offer. Okay. We have a healthy, thriving community here, as you can see. Our garden was planted years ago and has supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, schooling, and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. Many were brought here, like you, and some actually were born here. 
We all feel we are part of the whole. Hey Doug, welcome. We've just gotten started. Haven't really done much except looked around and tried to get our bearings. Um, we've been transported to this alien, I guess, planet. And that's pretty much all we know. There may or may not be some bad people. But we haven't met anybody. Um, so there's some kind of blue glow over there. It looks like looks sort of watery, but this this could be a water tank. Another mine shaft. Um, my guess is that we have to get trains moving and they'll bring us from place to place. We hit the switches or something. Um, come here. So there's a blue glow, there's a red laser. Here's the crops. Potatoes just sitting there. What kind of person just leaves potatoes sitting there? So I was kind of hoping this was a graphical ano anomaly, but it looks like something creepy. Like that's not that's not a bug. That's intentional. Um, Try walking through it. Okay. Easy peasy. Oh, there's another bug. Doesn't seem to care much for me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so much is going on, and I have no clue what any of it is or does. So some kind of elevator that doesn't work. Starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed by all the choices. Is this maybe a dock? Other oh, stairs. Uh, can't get to them. So I don't think that's an elevator. I think it's a door. Do you think this could be the vault that CW said? Uh, so I thought I went to the screenshots, but it just went black. So it may have broken the game. Oh, wow, what in the world is this? Forget that, okay. Well, that's not the screenshots. I have retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options, CW. Um, can't seem to interact with the door in any way, but the noises are horrifying.
Oh, got a little water wheel. And an elevator that it still works. Um, so it looks like it's <coughs> barred from the other side, or, or stuck or something. Oh, hello. All right, so I'm, I've just uh, I've just had the urge to save. <laughs> um, there doesn't seem to be a save button, which is good and bad. I guess we don't have to worry about saving before dangerous stuff. Um, why are they shooting the air, the sky? With this thing is it is it bad? Is it good? It's red. Red needs bad. No idea. Door stuck. Oh, there's a train. Um, okay, let's go up here. Can't walk over the edge. All right, let's keep going up. Okay. Oh, this is um this is a dam. I think this is a dam. Oh, it looks like there's something down there, doesn't it? Like a triangle. It's also one of those speaker boxes. My guess is that if we open this dam, it'll knock free that triangle piece, which presumably is a piece of the Triforce. And we have to collect the whole Triforce in order to kill Ganon. Um, that would be my guess. Got an achievement called Let It Flow. See what happens when we turn it off. I think uh, I think you can tell what happens there. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe you turn it on to let it loose, but then you have to turn it off so that you can go down there and pick it up. But it seems like that's not an option. All right, but I think we did something. I think we've done our first action. That's helped us towards our goal. Let's keep let's keep exploring the mountain for now. Pretty sure I want one of those balls. What the hell. So it's some kind of force field, I think, preventing us from going out into the real um, the real the rest of the planet. That's my 
That's my guess. Um, okay. All right. So we're in a kind of um, snow globe sort of thing. I think we've explored all of this. Whoa. And we can't get through the door. And can't seem to do anything with the gun, so I'm going to head back down if I can. A lot of these mechanisms require you to move the mouse, like uh, like an amnesia and, uh, and that series of games. That's something. Alright, that's the crazy door. Um, okay, let's see if we can get out of here without getting lasered. I'm really curious to know what happens if I stand in it, but I think I'm going to wait to do that until I'm really stuck. Alright, let's see if we can pick up the triangle and talk to this. Why, why are these glitchy? Are they real? Are they illusions? Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself, and we don't really understand how. Although the entire system is very closely tied together. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Others attribute a complex natural process which we one day hope to understand. But either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. Very weird. Um, it looks like it's moving this thing. That it's somehow stuck. Yeah, it looks like it's um, there's a cable that runs around across that. Another locked door. Okay. Wonder if I should have been screenshotting some of this. Oh. Isn't this a this is like a thing? I don't know what the name of this is, but I I've, I've seen this before. A, like a sluice or something? There we go. So you can go on one of two paths. Guess we'll try this one, huh? I love the design of this game. It's fantastic. It's not too realistic, but it, it looks great. Fishing rods and a pail. Uh, 
Uh, skirt. There's an easel on the other side. Oh dear, there's a bunch of stuff over here. It looks like a whole other settlement. Um, let's follow the wall so that we keep our bearings. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hello. Whoa, whoa. These, these machines are super cool because they look like real machines but made out of uh, you know, cobbled together parts. Oh my god, what in the world? seem to get in here. It kind of looks like one of the cables disappears, but I, I can't uh, do anything about it. Wow, I, I'm really feeling overwhelmed about how much stuff there seems to be that we have no idea what's happening. We haven't really been piecing together anything yet, just just looking. These look like eggs. That's that's not good. Uh, you don't want to mess with eggs. Because where there's eggs, there's an omelet. Okay, nothing to do in here. Except be wildered. Can you be wildered or do you be bewildered? What is. was wilder to the word at some point. Alright, there's a door here in the Of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. I mean why wouldn't it be locked? There um, I've noticed a lot of power lines that maybe we have to trace. Let's try it with this one. So Or maybe this is like a telegraph thing to people's houses. But it definitely goes this way. All right. I guess we'll check over here then. Fuel drain. Caution. I happen to be a expert in trains, so this should be this should pose no threat.
I have I have no clue what this would be. Satellite or something. Antenna. This looks like a train station now. So somehow, you know, they sent a train station to this planet. And then they cobbled together a bunch of stuff. I kind of think that's the other side of the wall that we were looking at earlier. Probably we should restore electricity. Wowzers. This place feels huge. Who's, who wants to bet that we find our way out there at one point? Okay. Still, I still have no idea. Um, you know, what our immediate goal is. But that's okay. That is okay. There's plenty of stuff to check out. I think in games like this, you really only need to worry once you've explored everything and then don't know what to do. Looks like there might be caves back there. Ah, yes, the old 2501 model. Very familiar with that train. Probably don't want to send it into the water, though. So my guess is... My guess is this thing is not going to actually move. Oh, it doesn't have wheels. So I think they'd just use it for electricity. So if we can get this running, we can get electricity back. Is this a fuel pipe? And that's an electrical out, exit, output, I bet, maybe. Let's follow this. Oh dear. Oh god. Okay. It's really it's really heavy. Did that do anything?
So clearly we need to do that. Um, presumably with different settings on the train itself. What a cool freaking game. Hey Pale, how's it going man? So I can't seem to uh, to open up any of those doors. No worries, Pale. Um, this is sort of an experiment because I'm trying to play it through without hints. So I'm not sure how entertaining this is going to be because uh, unlike Rusty Lake, I'm trying to figure out everything myself. And um, I haven't figured out a whole lot of stuff yet. But this game is really interesting. No, uh, correct. Correct. If, if it involves suggesting or mentioning me taking actions, it would be considered a suggestion. Um, which is probably difficult to abide by. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best to explain, you know, how I'm thinking about things. Um, and hopefully that will be at least somewhat interesting. Though if it's not, you're welcome to uh, come back on a different day. But, you know, I think it might be interesting. Won't be hard? Um, maybe. I think the, the problem is going to be... Oh, we did something. The fuel says full now. I don't know what this is, but... It's one of these things where, like, if you know what this device is or you see something that I don't, um, I think it's pretty tough not to suggest things. Um, all right, so we have, it says fuel. Did we just drain all the fuel out? I think we just drained all the fuel. Let's try it again. Yeah. So I. Uh, so just uh, just for your own interest, pale. Um, we disappeared from what I presume is Earth. Uh, we're transported here to this planet um, by some weird alien technology. And, um, and there's a bunch of evidence of people living here and, and like finding messages, but we haven't found any actual people. And there seems to be something that happened. And we're kind of figuring out what happened. Um, which is, I think, a pretty neat idea. <laughs> Let's see what that did. I know. I, I'm in love with the game design. It's absolutely beautiful. So it says empty. So all right, so we'll do it again here. This filled it up. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this arrow indicates a, a block and not an open. I always thought it was I mean I thought it was an open. But I think it may it's meant to indicate a blockage, so the fuel drain is closed. Do this one more time, and then we'll switch on the primer. Eh. You can probably hear me moving my mouse. Yeah, there's this fantastic alien backdrop to everything. And then there's um, 
like human settlements and, and stuff. It's very neat. All right, so it's full. So let's try priming it. Maybe I have to turn this thing off. Seems like when I turn that off, nothing happens. You hear that sound? Um, does this game give opportunity to activate hints inside the game? I don't know. Um, Oh look, it's, it's a tube of some kind. I hadn't noticed this before. Ah, you hold it! Told I told you I knew about trains. So we've just repowered all this stuff. Um, so I don't really know what that does. I guess we should follow the power cable. Let's follow the power cable. Oh my gosh, look at this. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot. So, it looks like maybe the green is meant to be what's powered. And so there's something not, you know, maybe blocking the garage, the ramp, the town. I wish we had seen this before we turned the power on to see what it looked like. But um, this gives us a, a, a relative map, I guess. So we started. I don't know where we started, actually. But Farley is the is the woman who who I mean, it's there's no people. They're like messages, but. She was a holographic message that sort of warned us. Um, yeah, I, I I didn't look into it exactly, but I know that the some of the people who worked on Mist worked on this game, and um, it feels it feels like it feels like a Mist game. Like there's you just saw that puzzle. Except instead of it being super esoteric, it's just a, a train. But it definitely feels the same. Um, all right, I still have no idea where to go, but we actually did something. So that's exciting. I think I want to explore the other side of the river. Oh, I bet the river. Let's see how quick this goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, this. OK. Um, I bet this is the river. Let's see if we can get to the other side. Oh, this is this must be the sphere. Did the sphere have power? Oh. So we tried this earlier and it wouldn't. Um, it didn't turn. So I'm pretty excited that we've gotten power to this thing. This part of the town part of the map at least.
Now what this does, oh, I bet we're supposed to rotate it till we can climb up somewhere. Wow. I mean, just look how pretty it is. How do we get in there? From the other side? Um, all right, let's rotate it again. And, um, also, before I go down, I'm going to check this door. This door was locked earlier. Maybe it's working now. Okay, so it's still, still blocked. All right, let's rotate. Play missed. It was a slight mental blockade against it. Played the first one about seven. Yeah, I had, the, I had the same problem. I played it when I was young. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I, w I was telling Rage earlier. I came back to Mist as an adult, and it made so much more sense, and it was really fun. I, I would give it a shot if I were you. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be reaching here. I just realized that this is a sphere. Wait. Where are the stairs? Maybe if it's on sale? It's like a 25-year-old game. It's got to be... It's got to be like two bucks by now, right? Um, I have no clue what we're doing. Let's come back to this. I mean, I'm pretty sure we need to rotate it till we can step on something, but I don't know what we're supposed to step on. So let's let's come back. Uh, all right, so we came through here earlier, and um, we essentially had chosen to come to this part of the island, or river, I mean. And we had done that by this contraption. So we'll close the sluice. Okay, we can't, we can't, we can't close it. Uh, also, I'm not really sure that this is a sluice, but. There we go. So, keep going. No? Hmm. So, I, I was hoping maybe which, which side was down would, would uh, determine uh, which direction it rotated, but that does not seem to be the case. So, maybe we have to walk across the top, but I remember this door. Okay, the door doesn't work. So, I guess I might as well open this back up. Oh, I understand. It's such a cool idea. So, so I said before I've seen this thing, and I feel like it's called a sluice. I still don't know if it's a sluice, but I know that a sluice is a thing. But this is so cool. So you put the left side in, and the water pushes against the left side, and it provides the torque. And then when you switch it, 
it's providing torque the other way. What a cool invention. How freaking amazing is that? Because it's super easy to change these doors. Oh my god, humans are just like the smartest uh, little critters for inventing stuff like this. Um, wow. So, I don't know how it actually applies in game. I'm just going to do this again, which I don't think is going to do anything. But, um, how cool is that? So, if we pull this down, this is even. So, I think nothing's going to happen. Or, is that right? Oh, it's not really even. Eh. Okay. And then, when this is all the way down. Now it's going to rotate because the water pushes against the right side. I mean, that's just so, so cool. Um, I don't understand why it doesn't work when we put the left gate down. But, all right, if we do this, so what, what exactly does this do? Maybe this just allows it to rotate. Okay. Well, that's a good question, Pale. I was thinking that myself. I do not understand. It, it looks like... It looks like... Oh, I see what the... Okay, so this lever detaches these two... See these two gears? Wish I could zoom in on it. But there's a enmeshed gears. And it um, pulls up the top one so that the bottom rotates freely. My guess is, in the in the real world... You never want the put the thing to rotate 180 because then you'd have to move it back yourself. You probably leave like I don't know 30 degrees so that there's still force to push it back. So to close it, you flip it and then let it go. And the I, I, I mean you know this isn't my specialty, but I get the idea enough. So the question is why doesn't this work? Yeah, watch the um, watch the gears at the top. Maybe it just can't rotate this direction. Um, at any rate, I think we understand the basics. So I'm gonna go back and put this into this this way because at least this lets us through. Um, it's definitely meant to rotate the other way, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. I, um, not a really mechanically inclined person, but this is super cool. I have to agree. It looks like there's some, some junk up there, like a, another lever and a thing. And so maybe we need to get up there and fix something. Um, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get up there. I don't, maybe we're supposed to get up from the other side. Um, let's take another quick look on the other side. Uh -huh. Kind of looks like stairs. Oh, it is stairs. Sneaky stairs. Um, but what good is that? Um, remember, all of my all of my questions are rhetorical, so don't uh, don't actually suggest. 
if we could that almost looks like it could be used as a ladder or a staircase if we could just pull it down um, but I don't see how we would do that Um, but it does look like there's stuff up there, so maybe we're supposed to walk to it. I don't really know, but I think we have to come back. This this is tricky. I, th I think I only found them because we were looking for a way to get up. Um, like, what else can I walk on? Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff up there. There's, there's not, there's, there's almost zero story pale. So you, you really didn't miss much. Um, it pretty much amounts to a bunch of people have been transported to this place. Um, no one knows why. They've, they come from all times. Um, and I think just apparently they've also transported like parts of their civilization. I mean, not, not their civilization, their town or whatever. Um, in the case of, uh, of these train buildings, part of the town, in the case of like the boats and the fishing poles, how do we get off? There we go. It's part of the, um, the forest. And people have been living here for a long time, long enough that they've had children. Um, and they've grown food and lived here and they've started to kind of write down their story or messages of some kind. I'll, I'll show you one when we get back over to that part of the place, but they kind of have like messages saying, welcome. You might be disoriented, uh, but don't worry. Everything's fine. Stuff like that. That's pretty much all we know. We don't know if the people are bad, if the aliens are bad, if if I if we are bad. If oh shit, we have electricity in here. Okay, we need a four-digit number. Um, this won't take long. I know how to do this. I've I've done these before, so just uh, just hold on. I think I think we're getting close. <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry. I, I'm just I'm kind of curious. I wonder how long I could go without without laughing. Um, looks like a house in there. Oh I, oh, this is the house. It's basically a very dumb way of cheating. Yeah. Well, so um. I'll show you this when we get back to the front, but there's a house that we were told to go into, and I believe this is the back door to the house, and then we're looking into the house from here. Um, but we need a code. So let's, we'll come back here. Um, and I'll, I'll show you this real quick, just because it's here. Essentially, we can't get out to the rest of the planet. So the rest of the planet looks really alien but there's some kind of force field. And when you get close to it, yeah, that kind of looks like Earth, but I don't I don't know what that is. Maybe it's too much land to be Earth, I think. So very strange, very 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 strange. We have yet to encounter a single 
living human. We have yet to encounter a single living anything. Um, there are bugs. We saw two bugs. But they ignored us. All right, I think we've done everything we can do over here. Um, at least that's obvious. So I think it's time to go back to the first part and see what we can do now that we've powered up things. Um, I'll take one last sweep over here, but I think I think we're done. We, we want to get over this wall for sure. Um, but I, I think we can't, so let's go back. The code the code is probably like nine 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 nine. And uh would take would take a while. I hope there aren't monsters that's that are gonna like chase us around. Um, have any of you played Soma? S O M A. Came out a couple years ago. Um, okay. So, Pale, hey, just to just to show you what it looks like. We've, we've been finding these messages. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself, and we don't really understand how. Although the entire system I'm gonna get some tea. is very closely tied together. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Others attribute to a complex natural process which we one day hope to understand. Either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. Someone was from the Amnesia guys? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could be. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, but I'm not sure. But they have these. Uh, they have these monsters that I thought were really annoying because they would just capture you and sort of put you back like ten feet. It was just like, leave me alone. You're stupid. So we went in here and explored. And um, I'd go back in, except I'm pretty sure that the that that map said that we had not powered the town. Yeah. So let's let's check out Farley. Hate those games. Always have near a heart attack. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't play through uh, Amnesia. I had to quit. It was too too stressful. Do you think this is the tower? Also, uh, also rhetorical. Um, like a water tower. Probably. Um, so over in this part of town, we've got a lot of train tracks. That I'm guessing we have to figure out how to get a train through carrying something, probably. Oh, we missed this. Um, let's go this way. Oh, that's definitely a lever. We're definitely going to have to turn that lever to get water to go through that yellow pipe. Oh, 
Just a big, a big tree. Um, I can't even click on this door. Let's see, give me just a second here. All right. Um, it looks like there are as a gear and crank below, so we we need to find our way below. I I mean I assume we have to. I mean, if there's a crank, we have to crank it. Like, there's no way that there are optional cranks. But yeah, this this seems very sculpted. Like, why is there this big circle around a tree? Um, so we can climb up here to get on a to get on the train or a cart or something. The tree. We haven't we haven't heard this one. This is the tree. It has been here in Hunrad for as long as anyone can remember. Its health is intimately tied to everything in our little greenhouse. Our cell we live in, our ecosystem. It has provided many surprises over the years, including some interesting seeds that you will learn more about. Many have postulated Yet we really know very little about its origins. But we do know it should be cherished and protected. All right, so we got to give it water. That's obvious to even a railroad engineer as myself. Um, oh, hello. So there's some kind of crane. There's, there's another track up there that goes over there. Um, we need to get up on that thing. So we have to get up there. Okay, so we have to get through here. And I, I, I think there was like a door or something that was blocking this, but if we can get up there, then we can get to the, uh, the tower. Oh, maybe that's the tower. Well, whatever. We can get to the water tower and uh, give the tree some water. It's probably what we need to do at some point. But I'm going to keep exploring... We didn't really explore this part of the map a whole lot. We immediately went to this town. So let's take another look over here now that power's been turned back on. Okay, we can't get in. There's this message. Do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram, which is a little bit creepy. Um, oh. Margaret Hartnell. Looks like a Oh, it's, it's, it's a hook. Oh, Anna Jackson, Daniel Hartnell. Oh, hello. Sarah Hartnell. Benjamin Sims. Henry Hartnell. Um... Shot. Can't. Screenshot. Screenshot. 
Interesting. Oh, did we not see these? I can't move this to see who's who's there. A lot of a lot of dead people. There's that uh, that insect. I, I feel like it's bad news. Like insects that big? So it's pretty interesting that the earth cuts into the landscape. Like, like it, you know, it's pretty clear that they sort of cut a piece out of the earth, but they also cut a piece out of the planet, the alien planet. Hey, a door that's not locked. I have a bad feeling about this. Bigger bees equals more honey? <laughs> Maybe. It also means bigger stingers. Um... I have no idea what to do here, but I assume we need to get a train here to carry, maybe to carry the rocks away? I, I don't know. Oh, there you go. You can see that antenna that we saw from the other side. Um, all right, well, more exploring. Oh, this was the first one, I think. Um, I'm going to go check out the place we started again, just because now we have a little bit more perspective on the game and what it, how it works. So... Something's moving. The handle's messed up. That's funny. That's 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 a bug. The handle is uh, moving through the flame and the the, the lantern and uh, providing a, uh, casting a shadow. Um, Doesn't, there still seems to be no way of picking it up. Uh, I, I, I really don't know what to do with it. But uh, this is the thing that captured us. This black and semi-organic monstrosity. Alright, well I still don't know what to do.
All right. So we came out of here. We went to the house. All right, now we've seen that. The welcome sign makes no sense. I, I, I get the sense that, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't get the game, but um, they expect people to be arriving there. Boy, that noise is kind of driving me crazy. This cave is the crickets kind of noise. I, I think we've explored all this. I think we've looked at it all. Um, there was a truck over here. Fire engine. Can't seem to do anything with it. All right, let's go explore the town, I guess. So at this point, in this second, I feel like I've seen everything that I know how to get to. Uh, which I'm sure is not true, but it seems like it. Um, probably because we've turned the power on, we can do something. I'm not sure if we explored these mines as well as we could. I think I kind of backed out. Let's see if there's not another door over here. Yeah. So... Huh, it's just blocked. So... My instinct says that the train is going to be useful to clear the blocks, the blockages. Let's try this one. <clears throat> okay, so it's the other side. Um, boy, the music is awful subtle. It goes away, sneaks up on you. That's that seems bad. I don't want to touch that. Does that power? Oh. Okay, all right, so the light, the power uh, back at the train has made this door work. We couldn't get here before. So it's a new area. I bet this is going to let us give water to the tree. Oh, no, I don't want to close it. So we got little cars here. I don't know if... Oh, what's this? It looks bad. Um, so, so it's another object that we can rotate. We can't seem to use. say object, I mean it's a hammer, but you, you know what I mean. I think it says Mayor's Imager Request. Entry Canyon, Farless House, Center of Town, Tree Larser. So, 
I, I guess the idea is that someone had requested that these things receive these um, holographic messages, and they've only gotten through some of them. Oh dear, okay. Um, Ambassador C, swap machine functionality. Radius of swap sphere is to find it first swap and is immutable. Seeds recharge naturally from ubiquitous ancient membrane power radiation tied to tree health. <laughs> Forcing seed open triggers prep behavior. Radius demarcation. Swap is, is how's, how's this uh, challenging your English pale? Forcing seed open triggers prep behavior. Radius demarcation. Small battery added to amplify ambient membrane power charges continuously. Parabolic focusing or power of power used to trigger seed swap behavior. Not that much? Oh, okay. It was challenging mine, so. Uh, locking location or swap machines assures predictability, no unanticipated damage. Radius demarcation also occurs at same location and destination sphere. Okay, I have no idea what I've read. I think I guess it's to you can move things between two different swap machines. I think I think this is like teleportation. Uh, I'm not sure if I took a picture so. All right, I think this is some kind of goofy thing to explain how the projectors work. Um, I bet I bet it's a puzzle. Let's see if I can just take another look at the uh, controls. So right is cursor toggle, which I, I don't really know what that means. Um, yeah, so there doesn't there doesn't seem to be any buttons that I'm missing. I feel like. I don't know how I would hit this thing with a hammer or something like that. Probably I don't need to. But I'm starting to worry. Um, Designed to disable anything. So the blue beam, maybe the blue beam is this is this uh, thing that's out front and it disables technology. So maybe the blue thing disables uh, technology.
Oh, well, here we go. So her address backwards, which I don't remember what her address was, but we can go find it, is the, um, is the key code to the door. Uh, that's cool looking. Um, Oh shit, I can rotate it. I just broke the machine. Oops. that's okay. Let's test this first before we destroy anything else. Oh my god, I cannot read this. Why, why is it so small? Oh no, come back. Seems like no one noticed. True, but maybe I needed it. <clears throat> uh... Why is this so small? Okay, I don't... God, if these are puzzles, these puzzles are not ones that I know what to do with. That... Okay, that seemed productive. I can take it out again. Okay, put that in. Clearly that's good. I can't... Oh, I can just close this too. Just uh, good as new, bright as rain. Is this the teleporter device? I think this is the teleporter. So my guess is, all right, now this is just from not paying too much attention, but paying a little bit of attention. I think we have to get a seed from the tree. Put seeds in the sphere things, and then I can teleport between them. I, I don't know why we'd want to, but I think that's what we want to do. Oh, we can get to the tree now. Um, let's, let's, let's keep looking for just a bit. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure if that's even a teleporter thing, but I think so. Let's see how far around this rotates. Oh, God. That's it. So, go there. Now, why I'm destroying these things, I have no clue, but uh, I can destroy them, so I figure. That must be what I need to do. Um, typical American.
Maybe we have to add a small battery. I feel like there's a mechanic that we haven't figured out where we can pick up stuff. But I guess I guess we're not stuck enough to be very confident about that. All right. So we've destroyed two of these things. I can't seem to interact with the wreckage. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's really all I can do with this thing, just because the of where this is. But it uh, looks like we've got wires connected to this battery. All right, I'm going to leave it. Um, so, OK, I understand now. OK, got it. So this blue thing destroys technology somehow. Um, it's mounted on a, car, a train car. So. If we can if we can put it on the tracks, we can carry it around and destroy those um, holographic rocks that are blocking the way. And I'm pretty sure we have to do that. So how do we lower this thing? Do not know. But uh, dollars to donuts, that's what we do. Is that a button? Oh, it says enter. Ooh, we can get in it? Oh, I definitely want to get in it. Let's get in it. Um, ha ha! So that's going to be a big thing, I think. Carrying that around and destroying those rocks. God knows what else. Um, before we do that, though, let's take a visit over here to get to the tree. And the water. And uh, well, there's a valve. We need to push it. I, I don't know for how long or what you can you can walk that should we just leave it on what if we overwater it um Well, we can turn it off. I'm going to leave it on. I, I don't think we're going to kill a tree. I'm not sure what these are. I suppose we have to come at this from the other side. All right. <clears throat> so let's go and play with the blue trolley. Oh. So these, this looks like the thing I said, I don't know what it is. 
So some kind of connector, power connector, maybe. Okay. This goes at stuff. Very nice. Can we walk in it? Said we could. Oh. So I'm just going to come over here, just hop in this thing. So it looks like I can adjust, oh, oh, hello, looks like I can adjust the laser. Ooh. Um. <laughs> so there's also a joystick you can use. Oh, I can turn the beam off. Okay. So I can either adjust the joystick with the mouse, which is really awkward, or I can use the arrow keys. Um. <laughs> so how do I how do I get this thing to move? Oh, did oh. Uh, I want to push this or something. <laughs> I... I do not see any way to move this thing. Let's hop back in. Oh, well that wasn't there before. Now it's gone again. Oh, what's that? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's destroy some shit. What does LS mean? So, WASDA, yeah. Left stick. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. So if I was playing with the controller, I wouldn't have to turn the switch off to move. That's kind of, uh, uh, that would be nice. I'm trying to hit this red thing. I don't know why, but it uh, seems like the kind of thing I want to turn off. I don't know what I did, but that was an impressive sound. And I'm a little bit scared.
Like I thought the sky, I thought the sky was going to collapse or I was going to suffocate or something. That sound was intense. Let's let's go up here and see what we can find because we can actually make it um, next to that gun. It looks like it might have fallen apart. Oh, there's this door too. Oh, this is a doorbell. Whoa! Okay, two big things all at the same time. So, so this guy is the first person we've met. The first alive anything. I'm pretty sure this is the vault. And I'm pretty sure he is CW. Um, the thing is... The thing is, I'm not sure if he's a good guy or not. Um, real life camera shoots don't look good to you. Well, I, I they're definitely calling back to the mist thing, so they they did the same thing in mist, and um, and it definitely looks a lot like mist. Um, they may have purposefully made it look weird just to make it look like mist. So he asked us to plug something in. I don't I don't even see it, but um he may not be a good guy. So I'm gonna look around to see what it is. Maybe it's outside. Um but I don't think I'm gonna do it just yet. <clears throat> I want to go see the see Farley's message again. Um, my goodness. Okay. All right. Things. A lot of stuff happened. So let's head back up here. Eh. No. Oh. Why can't I go up? Oh. The water's gone. I guess of course the water's gone. We opened the dam. But that but if that can't get back up. Well I guess I'm not I guess I'm not supposed to. 
Um, seemed like he's troubled. But I don't know if he seemed evil. So, okay, so here's the thing about the, the Mist game is that Mist actually had a bad ending, or I think multiple bad endings. I don't know if that's true of this game. I feel like that's kind of fallen out of favor, but uh, the kind of people who made Mist might be interested in bad endings. So that's something in the back of my mind. I also cannot figure out what he wanted me to plug in. Um, but let's let's leave it and come back. Um, I'm gonna take a picture. Maybe that'll rem remind me. Okay, so let's hop in our new ride here. Um, now, I, I actually have a controller plugged in. I'm, I'm worried if I use it, it's going to break everything. Let me see what happens. Nothing happens. Hold on. Yeah, nothing happens. Um, so I guess I can't use controller and mouse. And I don't, I don't want to switch it to controller because... Uh, because controller. So Oh, interesting. So, I can look I can look with the cursors. But that doesn't change the car anyway. All right. So, I think we just we're supposed to turn it off. Let's, let's get out of here. Oh, I can look with the mouse. This is fine. I can't really see. I can go all the way 360. Um, I think we want to go... I want to go to the right. I want to go towards Farley's. And we can always back up. Um, oh gosh, there's so many things I think that we want to destroy. Should we destroy the town, the message of the town? Not yet. glad that you can rotate 360 because sometimes you have to go backwards. Let's go in here and blow this one up. What happens if we ram it? Nothing. Uh, this one. This one. Oops. Okay, I guess that's a real rock. I guess we can't destroy real rocks. That's... I guess that's what's happening. Because it's not glowing. Okay. Alright. Let's head back out. Oh god, the controls are backwards. Alright, here we hit our first switch. And I... I have no idea which way this is going. I think it's going to go left. Okay, so we want to... Please tell me I can switch it without getting off. Beautiful! Okay. Uh, I don't even know. 
I don't remember what's over here, so let's see. <laughs> this is this is very weird. Um Okay. Don't really see any technology. Um So we go past it, and then I think this is correct. Wait, it can't be correct, right? Yeah, OK. All right, all right. I got this. I got this. Oh, god. This is like, it's a little bit finicky. Let's, let's put it like that. All right, those are definitely some fake rocks. So, is it is it going to make me figure out how to go, how to turn around backwards? Is that the idea? Or can I hit them like this? Let's see if we can hit them like this. Okay. Beautiful. Um all right, where does that go? What? Oh, it's Let me out of oh, this crazy thing. Interesting. So these, it's the same technology that makes some kind of a, um, the projection of the rocks. I wonder what happens if we shine this on the border between alien and human. Um, I guess we'll keep going. I feel like there's a lot of stuff with rocks that we have to destroy. <clears throat> Super cool designs. All right, can we fire behind? I do not think we can. Like, it only goes 180 degrees. So I have to figure out how to turn the trolley around. Um, I kind of think that's the point. Oh my god. Uh, of opening up these kind of shortcuts. Like, if we can go in a circle, we can come back here facing forwards. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's try it. OK, these don't actually connect. Or do they? No, it's just a crossing. OK, well, where are we going? I feel like it's going to crap out.
Oh, you can't even get the trolley up in there. Alright, let's try some stuff. Let's blow... some stuff up, see what it does. Maybe these are fake. I have no clue. Don't think they're fake. Uh, let's see what happens when we shine on this. Is this going to kill us? Did we? Oh no. Alright, so here, here, here's what just happened there. I'm thinking maybe that red laser was what was holding the force field up. So maybe we can walk out to the purple now. So as I get up to it, I see it shimmer. And I think, oh no, it's still a force field. Um, but I'm going to run into it just to check. And I run into it and shit happens. And uh, I was not expecting that. Now... I think we're in a new place. <sighs> Don't think it's not the owner who screams like she screams all the time playing playing paladins. Um holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, we haven't been here before. So we had to do this. Oops. Okay. Oh my god. So I, I guess if I go back it'll teleport me back, but I think I should explore first. Um these are creepy as hell. These telegraph lines go into them. Um So we're overlooking where we were earlier, where we did the battery thing. The power thing. We haven't been here before. But I bet what we need to do is get the trolley here so we can shine on this uh, rocks right in front of me. So I'm going to um, snap that. Whew. Maybe we can walk down there somehow. I'm I'm totally liking this game. I don't. So, the reviews were a little bit mixed. I think it's got 79% on Steam, um, which isn't bad, but it's you know it's not great either. Um, but I, I'm super I'm super digging it so far. Okay, not gonna scream. Not gonna scream, okay? All right, so it's totally just teleporting us. Um, all right, since I'm here, I'm gonna grab her house number. So that's the code. <coughs> and I'm going to watch this again. So I think you missed this one, Pale. Hi, um, I'm Barbie. I guess if you're seeing this, then I wasn't even... Just in case. Um, welcome. But it's probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what you'll find. I just thought I should. Um, just be cautious. With who you trust, CW may be here. 
I don't know. Just be careful. I've got to go. So she says, be careful of who you trust. CW may be here. Don't use this experience. You really will find her at the surprise. And I... I... The way I first interpret that is... CW is someone you shouldn't trust, but it may be disconnected ideas. Oh, look. That bug just blinked. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Um, I don't know if that is supposed to signal something. It's very intermittent. Okay. So if we get the trolley and go up this hill, we can take the trolley to the place to get rid of those, uh, those rocks that I was looking at. Um, but let's keep exploring it on foot. No big deal, super cool. I'm hoping we can get over to this place we haven't been before, but... I'm not sure. Yeah, so here, see... see we certainly got a a, a, um, a vanish point that we didn't have before. Um, we probably should have left this gate closed so that we could walk across it. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal, but... Oh. I, I can't seem to get over these rocks. Uh, where does this go? What a what a funky thing. So this is this is also near the house, yeah. Now there's one place that we haven't tried, and that's um, back near the trains. Um, we could get up to the purple stuff. All right, I feel like. There's a ton of stuff to do now. Let's go find the trolley again. Which... Uh, we also need to be observant and look for glowy rocks. Because I bet there's at least one place where there's glowy rocks that you don't expect. Uh, before I get, okay. Uh, let's see. If, let's see if we come back. can't use this to turn around, but we can use loops to turn around, right? So this is just a this is a one way. So we one way through here. But now why? Why? What's the point? There was nothing that we did over here. All right, I'm gonna go on foot and look for glowy rocks. Look in here. Look over here. Aha. Okay, all right. A little bit of backtracking, no big deal. <clears throat> I... At least the game is uh, 
leading us on goose chases. Wild or otherwise. So there, there's a reason why we can get over here now. It's crazy, it actually slows down when you go up hills, like, it has physics to it. Uh, I think that's it? Yeah, the motor sound changes too, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oops. I think... I think I got it. I wish this door was faster, because this is a little bit tedious. Um, bingo. Okay. All right. Okay, I think... Oh, shit, there's a bug. I bet the bugs are a puzzle. Hey, bug. Come back here. I, I want to look at you. Come here, bug. Oh, it's the other side of this door. Where's that bug going? Hey, Bob. Okay, well, we lost. But we opened up a door. That's good. There's a, a new area. That's good. There's a book. Oh my gosh. New arrival inventory check in. There is a ton of stuff. So I'm going to, I'm looking at things like the first letter of each line. Um, there's, there's things that are kind of weird, like short hose and hose. Um, we've seen an easel on the ground. I, I, this is definitely going to be like a puzzle. I just don't really know how. Um, this is a book with only two pages. 16 car batteries. Like, what do, how do we pick things up? Alright, well, I, I love that this game has a screenshot feature. That's super useful. Um, I played around with a couple of pieces of software to try to actually um, have some screenshot ability, you know, because I didn't think the game would have something. And I couldn't get anything to work with the streaming software so that people uh, watching could, could see it. But I did find some neat things for players that might help. Um, but that's doesn't work for us, so. Alright, here is So so imagine imagine we're in the cart heading forward. So head head first. Okay, so head, 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 head. Now we're head first in a straight track, right? Okay. And I back up, back, back, back up, and go down. We go down either branch. Go down the branch that we want. So back, 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 back. This is mostly for me, not for you, but I'm sure it's fun for you too. So now 
boom, we're back first on the straight track. So we can use this to turn around. This is probably what this is for, because um, why else have a small loop? All right, I think we've we've done a whole lot of stuff. I need to take a um, like two minute break, uh, but I will be back. I'm enjoying this game a lot. So see you soon. All right, hello again. I'm back, I've got some more tea. Feeling pretty good. Make sure I turned off the BRB message. I tend to forget that. Looks good, all right. What tea? It is uh, nothing fancy. It is the opposite of fancy. It is Snapple. Snapple. <clears throat> Are you familiar with Snapple? Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> um, at, at this point, I think there's only like one company that owns all the drinks that you could possibly buy. Um, and they probably manufacture like laundry detergent as well. But I, I, I don't know, Pro probably. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's not loose tea, it's bottled tea. So there's some kind of like scoop, scooper and a button. Oh, that's an elephant. Oh. 
think this is meant to be uh, an elevator of some kind. Or not. Maybe. So if I get in, push the button. Hello. even get back up. Let's open a door down here so we can get back in. Never heard of Snapple. Um, it's pretty big in the U.S. Snap <laughs> No, it's, uh, well, I like just, uh, it's, the default flavor is, is lemon. Um, but I, I also like the peach flavor. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's just black tea with a little bit of lemon or a little bit of peach flavor. Um. <clears throat> so it looks like maybe we can Turn on some more power here. Oh, no, don't. Got a screenshot just in case. Can't hurt. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um. If I flip this, I think they have power now because I think let's let's check. But I think garage and downtown didn't have power. So if we look at this garage and downtown didn't have power. Perfect. I don't know about the ramp, but. <laughs> Yeah, Nightbot is, uh, he's a special little thing. <clears throat> um, speaking of which, Pale, um, this may or may not be exciting to you. Um, but I finally submitted um, some uh, an icon for the sub icon emote. It's just the little Binopus logo, the thing that I use as the logo. Um, Eventually, it's going to be replaced. There's probably going to be like a sucrose character that isn't an octopus made with two legs. But uh, I haven't decided how much, you know, I have to pay an artist to, to do that kind of thing. So instead, just for now, um, you're going to be able to, you and Joey, because you, you paid for his subscription as well, but you two are going to be able to use the little um, Binopus in chat. Um, once they approve it, I don't know how long it takes to uh, to uh, approve. <clears throat> but all right, at any at any rate. Oh, interesting. We can't turn these off because the handle's missing. Um, but at any rate, I think we turn on power to more places. We're doing so many things. I kind of hope we're subscriber. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's, it's, they call them subscriber emotes. So you and Joey will be the only ones who, well, and Bones Malone's, but he's, he doesn't come around a whole lot. <clears throat> but yeah, subscribers are the only people who'll be able to use them. What the hell is that? This looks painful. What 
the hell is this? Oh my god, we have to learn a language. No, I, ha I don't have any of those. <clears throat> I don't have, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to change those for now. Uh, eventually. But, um, I think, you know, I, I could either spend money on getting new games to play or avoiding work, um, or I could spend money on art, and I decided uh, to spend money on games and avoiding work, for now at least. So I I, I hope the Binopus is enough to uh, to as a reward for subscribing. Um, I'm going to try to draw some stuff, but I, I'm a horrible artist and, and an even worse digital artist. So that's it's going to be a long time coming. All right, it looks like we have to learn a, a language, a, a number representation. Um, like six corresponds to to this thing. You yourself don't need rewards to subscribe. Well, that's good. I mean, I appreciate it, pal. You, you're. Uh, um, I like I like having you having you here and playing games with you. So it looks like we can go up to three digits. Wow, this is this is crazy. All right, well, <clears throat> I think once we find a puzzle that requires us to to read numbers, maybe we'll come back and, and, and try to figure this out. My guess is that we'll have to read something that looks like this. Um, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. But that's a that's super cool puzzle. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Multi-purpose, the lay-in, which I guess is the aliens. Uh, although they are able to control their systems via vocalizations, they have provided these control panels for other species to have limited access and control. If you have trouble, please find Noah for help. Remember, the Valayan numbering system is base 4. Drag from one blob to another to form the Valayan digits. Drag between blobs to disconnect. Um... Use only first digit to simulate a seven digit panel, a two digit panel. I can't even read that. Why is it so small? I guess it's a one digit. I don't know. All panels will autocorrect for invalid entries. So, and I think this is meant to be like put these in and you can sort of learn how to do it maybe. Um, but again, well, I took a screenshot, so again, we'll come back and figure this out once we need to know it. Hello. Yeah, this is huge. Are you in trouble? Need help? I wonder if these are hints. The global adventurist. And is this... But uh, we have seen a telephone in-game. Um, th so there's a game called... Uh, um, Monkey Island, the Monkey Island series, where part of the game is you have to call the helpline for the game and get a hint, and that's how you get through a puzzle. Um, nice. So now we can, we've really opened up the world. We can walk through uh, all around, mostly. Uh, 
this might let us get out to the side of the river we haven't seen. But before we do that, <clears throat> well, first let me look around just a little bit more. Okay, pal. See you soon. Somebody's making some horrible noises outside my apartment. I hope they're not coming through on um, stream. Take a quick look at what is going on out there. Okay, um, I I can't figure out what's causing the noise. It's humans. I mean, I know that it's annoying humans. Ugh. But um, I had a I had a funny <laughs> a funny little mist. Uh, abduction like puzzle in the hallway so my my doorknob has it's, it's been broken for a while it's, it, it's not really broken it just isn't tight enough so it doesn't turn and um, I haven't bothered fixing it because when you've got the key um, you can just you can open the door using the turn the key but I stepped out into the hallway without a key. And I, I, I couldn't open my door. Uh, but it wasn't locked. It's, it's, it's just, just I couldn't turn the knob. Um, <clears throat> and I was, I was uh, able to tighten the screws um, on the doorknob with, uh, with a fingernail enough that I could open the door. So. Uh, I had to solve that puzzle to get back here so that I can solve these puzzles. We have a telephone. I'm willing to bet that we have to call that number. So even though we have a screenshot, I can't see it without opening it, but uh, <coughs> um, I'm, I'm just going to write this down because it's easier, I think, than trying to remember. And even, even even though these screenshots are here, they're not as, they're not on screen. Um, I believe that's seven nine six eight. Now there's don't have coins or a receiver.
One five five five. Four three five. Seven nine six eight. I mean, I guess what did I expect since I don't have a, a receiver? Okay. Uh, <laughs> come back to that. Um, surely come back to that. <clears throat> All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the, um, what is it, Farley? Farley's back door and put in the code. I mean, half of this is something, but I think that'll let us into the house. And while we're over here, we want to take a look at uh, going through the the wall as well. So we were told that it's a house number backwards. So six three four one. Would have taken us a while, I think, using our previous method. So I'm hoping to open this up, and then we'll be able to really travel around fast. If we can open the door from here. Probably some good story in here, too. Perfect. Okay. Welcome. It's a little too much light to see, but... So I think Farley's kind of a inventor person. have to go there. I don't know what it is. There's so many pieces of paper in here. So it says 15, but I'm willing to bet this is uh, the number from the language that we saw, uh, where you draw, you connect these. I'm, I'm most scared of these. It's just so much writing, and who knows what this is. Um... Hey, pal. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting. I, I do tend to say, I do tend to use the language of bets to describe confidence, to have some sort of um, record of this, and maybe to actually bet people in chat. Not money, of course, but something. Um, so we've got a little bit of backstory here. So it seems like there may be more than one species 
involved in this experiment. I don't know. But the Mofang has spoken to us. Okay. They have heads, mouth, nostrils. Probably don't need this. Oh, hello. Looks like a, looks like an alien to me. Okay, there's another alien, uh, the Arai. After a certain level of maturity and health of the tree, a passage opened. A passage out of contact with two additional species. Beetle-like insects. Oh, we've seen them, haven't we? They appear to have some rudimentary level of intelligence. Was... I have three distinct variants that come in first. Barnacle, beetle, and polyarch. Though their morphology is dramatically different from humans, their internal systems are all very supported by things, atmospheric conditions, and basic nutrients. In the barnacle states they are completely mobile. Have we seen them? I don't know. In order to hatch, they must be in proximity of a polyarch and fertilized by the beetles at a certain stage of maturity. Okay. That's creepy. So Farley's trying to fake talk, had to talk to these things. <coughs> um, mechanical construction. Okay, creeping me out. The Valayan. Final species to be discovered with the blame delay of the communicating with the arrive from any of the ambassadors from seeds. So some some kind of seed based technologies, uh, uh, you know, as 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 you do. Um, okay, is I think this is just backstory, right? This isn't a puzzle. Nine feet tall, reptilian. Okay. It looks like there's just like a child behind them, hugging them. Okay, yep, I don't want to meet any of them. I hope we don't meet those. All right, so we've. This is what brought us here. Wait. Okay. Um. Bass seeds, collector seeds. So these um, these seed swapping is, I guess, how they take all the houses and whatnot. Um, I don't. I really wish this was easier to read. Two seeds. I think I think it's a salt backstory. <clears throat> um, oh, hello. 
interesting. Uh, what's the point of this? Uh -huh. I sort of thought this would correspond to the dots <coughs> on the, uh, the number system. But I feel like it doesn't quite line up. But clearly we're supposed to rotate it for something. So what if... What if... I don't know, gosh. I like that we can stand in front of it. Um, I mean, maybe these mean something on this map, but I, I don't know. It's really dark over here. A lot of mysteries in this room. Ugh. It's so, it's so, it's so hard to read. I. So we've got something from 1942, Lüpecht, I don't, I can't pronounce it, Germany. The last thing I recall is a large rumbling while I was hiding in the cellar of a vacant building. Ran towards a bright light in a stairwell. I, I can't, I can't read this one at all. I don't really understand why the contrast is so bad. Um, someone from Mexico? On my boat and bad storm. March 2042. I, I can't. I can't read it. Okay. So so people all through time. We got a little koala here. Why, why do I keep, why are these objects here that I can rotate but not do anything with? What's the point? Sounded like it played, but gotta rewind it, right? They can. I, I guess that's right. I had to rewind it. giving, you know, like, uh, covertly. Uh, <clears throat> um, so the plan will happen. In spite of our, um, oh my God. 
we're uh, locking down as much as possible here and moving everybody out. Uh, CW will stay here. And uh, I'll go to Murray uh, at the last possible moment. Um, most are gone. There's just a few uh, left here now. The mayor got out early. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm recording this. It's, uh, it's like somehow we'll live on or something. Um, I guess this has meaning if someone listens, but <laughs> who? A new one? new arriver. Oh, God, the kiosk out front. Uh, I need to update that message. <sighs> so ambiguous. <clears throat> so they got attacked or there was an attack, or something. Now I don't think CW is bad. But what about Char 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 Charlie, whatever the person at the beginning was? Why... Why are they a different faction? So, well, so is Shavar an emissary? Shavar, leader of the. Um, so we assume that um, Shavar, well, that the, the attack is inevitable. Or that she's the bad guy? It's, we, we just don't know when. So, um, Shavar and her family, um, and others. She trusts, I guess. But, but then she talks about she trusting, not can, who trust her. When they can. Without a... Yeah, I have no idea. Um, no idea. Oh, there's another side. Ooh. It's not really what I intended, but... So this is the tape that we heard when we started the game. The message. I, I think, I think it's the same message from the beginning. Um, well, I, I still don't know what to make of all that, but I feel like maybe CW is okay. Okay, so the whole teleporting seed thing is just how they get parts of Earth to the planet. And, a, and apparently there's four planets. So they're getting species from, from three other planets or something, something like that. All right, a lot of backstory here. My brother, small and nice, sings constantly. 
at, as noisy as at a, as a rock concert. Only he would be quiet. Okay. 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 What do I make of all of this stuff? Um. Yeah, I, I think these dots are meant to be a hint that this is a number in uh, the, the Mofeng or Valayan alphabet. But I'm going to do a screenshot of that. Goodness gracious. All right, well, we've opened up the area so that we can travel back and forth. I think I think I'm going to go back on the trolley and and uh, and do what we were intending to do from from earlier. If I can uh, remember where the trolley was. All right, so what we want to do is figure out how to get to the circle, I think. Um, so I'm going to hop in this just to try to remember. So here's the circle, um, and this may not be the only way to do this, but this is certainly a way of doing it. So if I can get the trolley coming from here or here, uh, it's not going to be here. This is where I need to get the trolley to shoot that. Okay. So let's follow this, see if we have this opened up. Looks like we have. So let's get the trolley up here. That's that's it. And we need to turn it around for some rocks that are over here. I feel like trolley's the wrong name, but it's what's in my head, so. <clears throat> so we've got a pretty intricate little backstory. Um, I'm not sure how much of it is going to come to play in terms of the puzzling, but it's pretty neat. Maybe some kind of... Uh, Yeah, so these are the rocks that we have to destroy. And we can't destroy because we're not backwards. Okay, so It's um, aliens trying to save their planet, and so they're taking all these other species in, or some, some, some. Is there anything over here we'd want to destroy? Um, I'm not facing the right way, but. destroy that thing.
Ah. All right. Probably we're going to find out we have to turn it back around to do something that we should have done at the beginning, but this isn't a speed run. Now we're on the other side of the map. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so first things first. Looks like we have to turn it around. But then we can do everything. there's going to be like long shots we have to make from up here. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if so left might mean left. Uh, I hope it does consistently. those up. Don't know how to get to them. But surely we had to do that. Okay. Now we... This, this part is kind of annoying. So we switch it, then we head back and do our little uh, switching track thing over there and uh, we can hit those rocks. Maybe, maybe it'll actually go through here. That would be cute. That would be... I, I bet in fact that's the case. Another idea, which is, I, for whatever reason, think we have to destroy all of the message blocks. sure if there's anything over there, but I thought since I'm here... It's kind of awkward. Alright. That's done, and now we... Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Now we go back. Uh, easy peasy. from here. And since there's tracks, we might as well drive through them.
right, so the tracks don't go through. It's kind of this is uh, whiskey distillation. It's a bar, I think, called Crash Site. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we definitely want them blinking. Perils of the Sea. It's a, it's a, 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 a recipe for a drink. Can't get behind the bar, I don't think. What a weird little thing. I don't think there's anything to do. This is just flavor. What an elaborate flavor room. Screenshot to remember. Yeah, this, this we have to be able to get these like canisters or something. <clears throat> but I have no idea. It's a battery. I wonder if we have to collect batteries at some point. Oops, I don't know why I put that. Oh. Oh dear. So this is a map, I, I believe, of the sphere we're in. But, but uh, I have a hard time understanding what the pieces are. I think this is the junkyard. Like what's it what's it trying to tell us? So these are the train tracks. Yes, these are the train tracks, because look at the circle. Haha. -ha! Um This connects to this. I mean, maybe that's not the point of the map, but it does show train tracks. So, um, I think this is where we are here. So, you know, maybe these this black circle is meaningful, but I don't know. I figure I'm going to explore everything, so. I think these are train cars. So these are maybe smaller circles inside of the bigger circle. Like this train yard was brought here. I'm not quite sure. I, I really wish... Um it wasn't so slow to open the pictures. I'm, I'm pretty sure that speed is a design choice. And I do not like it.
Okay, very interesting. Let's keep driving around. The uh, problem is we're almost definitely gonna need to turn back around. But, so I think we went up there and it was, there's nothing really there, but I'm gonna do it now that we're front ways. here. We couldn't do it because it's a real rock. Okay. I destroyed that for, you know, possibly no good reason. I don't know. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Um, I think that's where we came from. Like that's where we got it, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go check it out. Ooh, I think that stopped me. Yeah, like I meant to pick up something there or stop there. Oh, this door was just, uh, we, we didn't open that door. Okay, so that heads back to where we did get the thing, but we didn't open that door. Okay. So this is a real bolt. Why is this so dark? I kind of wonder if maybe there's some settings problem, because the contrast is super funky in this game. Could it be because I was in the dark? No, it's just it's just funky. Like, on my screen this was very bright before, now it's really dark. I think that's just funky stuff. Okay, let's go to the right path. Okay, no choices. So to the left is definitely where we got it. 
Um, but now we're front facing. Let's see if that fence was fake, maybe. Now those are some, those are definitely some fake rocks. And fake statue. I mean a uh, guide statue. You know what I mean. So maybe this will take us to the other side of the river. Oh. Oops. Maybe this will not take sense. Surely this is a good idea. <laughs> I think this says um, safe and fun environment. Fun for the whole family. Oh, come on. We're on the other side of that door. But I can't seem to open it. I guess it doesn't matter. What? It's an entire submarine. Of course, there's a boat. Submarine parts. So, obviously, this is similar to the parts that the parts list that newcomers were given, I suppose. Um, first thing that comes to mind is maybe figuring out what's on both of these lists or something like that. But one of the lists, it's also a bunch of numbers. The other one didn't have but a few numbers. Don't really. Could just be flavor. I don't know. It's super cool. I love that mesh texture. Seven. 
Wow, a valve I cannot rotate, seriously. Just leaving books around on rocks. Makes sense. CW Journal. I ain't lying. That hurt a bit. Um. So, hey, I guess he's lost his children. I see. Okay, he was um, he was supposed to be hung before he came here. Oh come on! It lets me turn two pages. There's nothing here. Bullshit. Gonna let me in to CWs. Oh, is that just the door? Oh, that's just the door. What is the point of that? Another bad. So either there's something to do with the sub. Or the books tell me something. Or oh, this is just all flavor. Oh, it looks like looks like there's stuff up there. Um so I don't see a ladder. Oh, there's numbers here. Hello. I love numbers. Numbers are definitely for puzzles. Well, as far as I can tell, I can't climb up. <clears throat> I'm thinking, thinking maybe that's connected to CWs. So I've got three numbers. I don't know what to do with them. They don't make much sense. This really looks like something I should climb into, but I cannot. I guess that's it for this then. So, is that, are that all the red glowy rocks? I feel like we traveled everywhere. All right, let's close this. Just kidding. let's close this. So this is going to allow easy access once we open it up. I think it's just a shortcut. Um, but see, here's the thing. Now that we've closed this off, 
this top bridge is, is, is actually open, uh, connected, and we can get to the other side. Um, through different things. So let's travel around on foot, look for more red rocks, look for walls, um, openings that we can jump through. I think there's still one opening that we haven't teleported through. Don't know what to do about this rock. I guess if we had that rock, then we'd be able to loop around without going all the way through the, the nonsense. So it's, it's here, right? This is the opening. That's, um, that's a lot of material. I have no idea. There's still one, at least one, speak and say that we haven't destroyed. That's this one. We could totally destroy it from here. Um, I, I don't know why, but I feel like if I can, we should. Plus, if we need the cart, it's going to be over there anyway, so we might as well bring it. Just trying to decide if I should change the direction of the, the gate. set the opposite way that I want. <clears throat> oh, actually. We need to come from over there. backwards. 
it's okay. We can still reach it, right? Can't tell if you got it. Okay, so <clears throat> let's, let's go over here. We haven't looked at this since the beginning of the game. Doesn't really seem to be a thing, but I think we can walk along this whole wall if we can get up on that top of that sluice. Um, okay, I'm gonna go through, and we'll do the one thing that I know we haven't, or I think we haven't done, which is walk through. The wall, the barrier here. I don't think we have. Ah. So we're on the other side of the waterfall. Is that even the same place? Just real quick, I'm gonna hop back over. Because this looks weird on this side, so let's see if this is another place. Alright, this is the same place. Right? This is another place. So we found two new places, I think. This looks like the teleporter object. Maybe. Oh. Maybe I should have done All right, so much for two new places. We found a whole new planet. Wow. <laughs> we, 
we've we've made it, I think, to another planet. Uh, but hey, this was easy to use. Um, I hope it doesn't take as long next time. That's a pretty tree. Uh, okay. I feel like that opened up. I don't even know. I thought I saw those panels moving, but... Oh, there's a red laser. Oh, there's a bug! Hey, bug a He's communicating. Okay. Still doesn't do it. All right, that's just gonna keep in circling. I don't don't know what I did, but uh, I can't undo it. So it must be good. So this planet has a barrier as well, that, and that red laser is, I guess, projecting it. And if we can figure out how to turn the red laser off, then we can use teleports on this planet too. So we haven't. So I thought we were, I thought we were just blazing through this game, and I feel like we haven't even done a third of it. Oh wait, come back. What does that do? Gotcha. So there we can pass through the barrier if we disable it. Hey, Pale. Have you been watching all this time? I guess you've been eating. <clears throat> what'd you, uh, what'd you get for, I guess, dinner? Oh, I see. This planet is way creepier. Oh my god, than the other one. It's a good thing I can't fall off the cliff. Like, this looks like a, a dwarven fortress or something. Got a little music going on. There's that red laser. Um, a 
Okay, staircase, purple, goop. I wonder if I should go back to Earth. I mean, it's not Earth, whatever. The first planet. Because there were the two places that I'd just gotten to and hadn't explored. I don't know. It's weird, because when you don't have an inventory, what could you possibly do on one planet that affects the other planet? I guess, I guess the planets are connected by these spheres. I guess the planets are connected by the spheres. That must be it. Oh, those are the barnacles. Oh, that was like the first stage in the um, in the life cycle of the RRI or whatever. This looks like an elevator, but I can't elevate. Just gonna hop in here and head back to the first planet. Oh shit! <laughs> I was totally kidding, but holy fuck. Um, so. Okay, we gotta get to that red laser and I guess shine a blue laser on it? I feel like I'm playing Portal. Um, the game the game did that thing where it just opened up again and now it's like, holy crap, this is crazy. Very pretty. So it looks like the red laser is coming from just beyond the sphere. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna take the. Wait, is this a staircase? All right, I'll do it later. <laughs> I think this will get me to the red thing. So we're below the thing that I thought was an elevator. What does that do? I don't see any anything to click. Is that it? Did I miss something? Um, okay, let's take the let's take the uh, Alien Express. Like nothing. I haven't found anything to interact with since the bridge. All right.
Oh, there's the laser. So there's going to be four planets. Wait, this is the this is the room on the first planet. So we've managed to <laughs> this is crazy. So we've moved, I guess we, this just comes with us. So we've moved the teleporter from the, this is going to be insane. There, there are puzzles that can be done with this that are going to be insane. Um, we've moved this teleporter from that second planet back to the first planet, but that means we took the first teleporter to the second planet. So if we go back to where the first teleporter was, which I, I want to do anyway, it shouldn't be there. This is, this is, this is going to be crazy, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is the tutorial. Um, Alright, we're going to go through the house again. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to go through the house. Um. So when we came back, you blinked for a second, now you don't see. I mean, I I don't either. Um, what part what part what part did you uh, did you mess? I can I can try to I can at least tell you what happened, even if I can't explain what happened. So, we teleported up here. This is above the... Oh, we can get... Oh, there's so much stuff. All right, I want to explore this first, so let's explore this. You've seen what happened, you just don't understand. <laughs> oh, no, you can walk through here, too. All right, let's see what's through here. Oh, my God, there's just too many... There's too many places. There's, <laughs> there's too many places. All right, we're up in the middle of the island. So this is like the wall that goes across the island. Oh, Jesus, there's a device. There's so much stuff. This game just got so much bigger. Now, this doesn't look like a teleporter. Well, it was a different teleporter. I don't know if that helps. Do we know about this device? God, what is this going to do? Should we... Alright, before I do it, I want to see if I can open up a path that'll let us up here without teleporting around. 
I think I need better words than teleporter because there's two different kinds of teleportation. Um, what's the point of this? Just to give you a perspective? Okay. All right, so we're above the house. There's this nice little wall. I guess this is what cut through um, her house. Or maybe they built it. I don't, it looks like they cut through. I don't even know. Don't, I have no idea. Um, We need another code. Oh, it's only three digits. I feel like uh, that would only take a couple minutes, right? All right, do we have anything with a three-digit code on it? Can I, I can't, oh, yes, I can. Um, I think, I think I'll do, yeah, I like, I like that. I like the idea. So I think I'll do teleport for the spheres and, um, Shift. I'll try to be consistent. I'll try to do shift for the walls where you walk through and it brings you to the other side. Um, shifts. Oh, boom. Three digit code. Seven. Wait, where's the other digits? No, I took a picture. Seven, six, eight. Okay. Oh yeah, we are so good at puzzles. Seven, six, eight. Seven, eight, six, six, seven, eight, six, eight, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, seven, six. What the fuck? No. That's that's the answer. False game. Seven. Six eight. I mean, that's an eight. That's an eight. It's gotta be an eight. That's gotta be it. Uh, I think I did it right, but I'm gonna try it just one more time. All right. Screw that. I guess we'll come back. I'm gonna screenshot this to try to remember. But it's a shame. It's a shame. I mean, let me keep looking through the pictures. Um, see how dark it is? These are like super dark. Like they're not lit the right way. This is um, this is where we are. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, so um, we have to figure out what three-digit number, what looks like fifteen is in the alien language, and then we come back here. Easy peasy. Um, okay. Exciting, exciting. 
that actually made a lot of sense. Um, I feel like so far this game's been pretty fair with providing uh, enough hint to, to make to make things make sense. All right, so I just shifted or translocate. I'll I'll just I'll say whatever for that, but then for the, the spheres, I'm always going to say teleport. Um, I guess we'll explore this before we go get those numbers. You've screamed against the monitor several times. Is, is it any better now that I've figured it out, Pale? Like, doesn't that make things... Um, doesn't that help? help? Boom. Yes! Now we can get up here. Okay. Beautiful. That's that's what I really wanted. Um, Alright, we'll go investigate this, then we'll go figure out the number. I appreciate... I really appreciate um, your ability not to say anything. Because I know that it's difficult. I know that I... Um, I've watched Elvina play this game called La Milana. And it's a, it's a really hard puzzle game. And, um, and I know, like, I see her walk past something and I'm just like, uh A six-digit number. Oh, you've played La Milana? So, essentially, we were talking about it because I, it's one of my favorite games, but I did not play through Unspoiled. And I think in, I probably said something like, I bet no one's ever beat it Unspoiled. And she took it as a challenge. And she hasn't even read the manual, and she's been playing it now for a while. So a six-digit number. Um, we'll come back to that. Oh, man. La Milana is so good. It's also got about... I don't know. It's... It's 80% fantastic and 20% not enough hints. <laughs> um, it, it has this property where the hints make sense in retrospect, but not, um, but not beforehand. Which is kind of the point of a hint, is to, is to help you not to be like, oh, I get it. I'm not sure what you mean by a walkthrough versus 100%. So she's trying to beat the game without reading anything. So she's just just her own um, knowledge. Uh, don't know if there's anything up here. So if I come down here, this is a part we haven't explored everything, I think. So now we're up on a ledge above the uh, sort of junkyard area. And this is where we found the first teleporter. And my guess is that it will not be here. But if it is, I think it'll make things easier. She just wants to beat it. Um, but I feel like if you can beat it, you're probably going to find... I mean, she's not going to find everything. Let's let's put it that way. She's not going to find everything, but she the hard part is beating it. I don't know if it is doable. 
Um, holy shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. So there's a teleporter here and a teleporter on the second planet right now. There's, and there's always going to be teleporters on the two planets. And when I hit this, the sphere that surrounds this teleporter swap. So right now, the Earth, oh my god, this is crazy. The Earth matches, and it didn't match before. So if I hit this and then run all the way back around, we'll find that the Earth does not match. This is crazy. I had said to my, I had said out loud, how are we going to affect things on the other planet? This is how. This is how we affect things on the other planet. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is going to be like, it's, it's going to turn into a maze, I think, where you have to find a path from A to B, but you have to go through shifts and teleports. This is going to be so hard, I think. I mean, they don't have to make it hard, but I bet that they will. So if I teleport again, it's going to swap it back to the way it was originally. That is so weird. Um, that's how we get to the... So, okay, I know that we have that code to find. But I'm going to swap again. And I think we can get to the red laser on the second planet. I don't know if we can do anything with it, but I think we can get to it. Holy crap. At this point, Oh, yeah, 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 okay. All right, so we pull this, comes back over, hopefully. All right, now we figure out how to get back to where we were, which we do that, and then I guess do this. Like so, so this is this is kind of the thing. We we see these spheres, and the reason we see these spheres is because at some point this swapped with the part of another planet, and it it always swaps in the f shape of a sphere, in the form of a sphere. Um. All right. So we're gonna make it back. To. the red laser thing. Um, look, and see, now we can just walk through it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, this game is going to get impossible. Oh my god. So I, I don't know what I don't know if there's anything I can do with it. I think we need somehow a blue laser. So like we have to figure out how to get a blue laser here or figure out how to, you know, maybe find a blue laser on this planet, but we've we've completely changed the um the geometry of this planet at least where that sphere was holy crap holy crap let's see if we can even find it to the, find our way to the teleporter it might not be accessible Oh my god, this is... I, I, I'm gonna have to make a map, but the problem is it's in freaking 3D. How do you make a 3D map? I think I have to do it just abstractly. I don't even know how to do that. But, um... Holy crap. It might be... So I guess it depends on how evil they are. I don't see a way that I could get to where the teleporter would be. So you may remember that when we were standing at the last teleporter, the second teleporter, I speak of the aliens, the developers. I speak of the developers. The aliens didn't plan this. This is all, I think this is all somewhat accidental. I'm not exactly sure about the story. I'm talking about the developers in terms of designing puzzles. Um, so you remember we could see the red laser from the room that had the uh, teleporter in it. So it was about right here or something, but I think it was below us. And the room broke this staircase or something like that. Um, but now it's swapped, and so the, the other teleporter is somewhere below the staircase. Uh, or something, somewhere around here. I'm not great on geometry, but somewhere around here, but, but below. Uh, and now I don't see how I would get to it. On the one hand, that might actually make it easier. Because it, it means you can't swap these things like a Rubik's Cube. Like, if you think of a uh, Rubik's Cube and how many combinations there are, it would be horrible. You could really mess things up, maybe. Um... So maybe it's good they don't allow that. Don't. Oh yeah, we've, we've been up here. This game is crazy. Okay. So, we can't find the teleporter to go back from this direction. Although it may be here somewhere. So I'm going to go back. Um, the way we came. And I'm going to try to figure out the 15 puzzle. Is it... I feel like this is a different place. Maybe not. Uh, 
this is the quest. Well, surely we need to turn these gears. I, I just got distracted on that, but... Oh my god. <clears throat> it's in German, Pale. You have to help me translate this. I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh dear god. Um, so the submarine... Uh, had Cyrillic on the warning signs and and that had the 678 oh god Oh my god, all these buttons do something too? <laughs> uh, I don't think I took any pictures of the Cyrillic. All right, we'll come back to this. I'm gonna... Screenshot. Looks like there's a bug on that back wall. Oh, there's one up here too. Uh, well, I'm really glad that we're not almost through with this game. I... <laughs> something made me think that we were just... We were just doing so well we were almost done. That is not the case. Oh my god, so there's a whole system back here. Um. Turning it to the right doesn't appear to do anything. And I can't turn it to the left. Oh, maybe it's because there's stuff in the way of the gears. These um, eggs. Maybe. Can't. Oh, oh, I can't. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that's turning these wings. Oh god. <laughs> um So I've I've played a lot of games where you, you have to figure out machinery, but this game I feel like this machine is like crazy powerful. Look at this thing, and this, and, and and yeah, the sound is a big part of it. All right, let's try this now. There we go. How fucking cool is this? So, 
I think this might be some sort of generator, like maybe it's using steam or, or the wind that's coming out of this hole. And now it's turning all this stuff. I, I don't know what it's turning, but I think we did what we needed to do here. I feel like it's gonna hit my head. God. What the hell is that? The hell did I just do? Oh, look, 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 look. These pistons aren't engaged. But that one is now. So, let's try this again. So, if I. JK, if I... Pistons. This is super cool. All right, so now I just need to do these other ones, I think. <laughs> this is this is neat. This is really neat. Um. Oops. Got it. Okay, I, I, it took me a while to understand the controls, but now I actually understand the controls. But um, I think that's all the pistons. Like, I feel like I brought a Leviathan to life. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not finished. That's what that was for. So let's see if, if this needs to be connected or something. Can't tell if maybe there's something missing there. I do see a what appears to be a piston or a fluid uh, moving, and these things are both rotating. Man, man, so Christian pulling lever stuff. Could be a Disney machine. What well, could possibly be wrong? I mean, it's it's on another planet, so what are you worried about? Right? Um, I think it's working. I think it's working. Let's follow it and see what it does. Like, this is moving. So, um, okay, is this a bathysphere? Oh, dear God. Maybe this was a bad idea. Ooh, look how pretty it is. Oh look, it's it's a it's a it's a sphere. It's teleporter. Oh shit. Uh wait. Wait, this is where we started. <laughs> oh my god. Um okay, so
I feel like we're doing things on this planet, but I really want to go solve the 15 puzzle. Um, <laughs> this is super cool. Uh, let's let's go back to the first planet. Hey, Joey, we are streaming a game called uh, what's it called? Abduction. Um, and it's a uh, it's a puzzle game, and it's really good, Joey. It's really really good. Uh, I I kind of had low expectations. Maybe that's why it's so good, but it's it's really good. There's a bunch of alien stuff going on, and a lot of really good puzzles. Um, I'm really into this. So I, I can help. I can try to help you if 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 some if stuff is weird, and try to help explain how it works. But uh, it's kind of weird. Like I only understand a little bit anyway. Um, what's the best way to? To get to where we want to go. Why is the landscape purple? That is a very good question. So, a huge chunk of Earth has been transported to this alien planet, along with um, a bunch of people um, and stuff from different times, even, and. And then other stuff from other parts of Earth were transported on top of it. I uh, don't really know why. Don't really know by who. Although we have some sort of names of species or something. But we're not, not really sure what's going on. And it's happened not just to Earth, but to th two, other, th two other planets. Oh, Kathy Rain? I think I already own Kathy Rain. I don't know I don't have Flat Kingdom though. Have I met the aliens? Some of them. Some of they look like bugs. Um, but there's two other kinds of aliens that we haven't met. So there's three aliens that they abducted. Er humans, the bugs, and then these ones that are like lizards, I think. And they've put them all on the same planet. I'm not really sure. There's a tree and there's nuts involved and seeds. I don't quite follow everything. But but the way that these puzzles are going is there's all these different ways of teleporting. And when you teleport, you take part of the planet with you. <laughs> so it's like swapping geometry of the planet. Um, and it's kind of insane. No combat. It's purely puzzle. In fact, we've only met one other person. And, um, and he's locked behind a door, so. It's just puzzles. All right, I need to go to the gas station. Um, but yeah, it's a lot about figuring out how machinery works and turning stuff on. And then there's kind of logic puzzles where you figure out number stuff. Um, so in this one, we're trying to we have the number 15, I think. Um, 406. Wait. Some of these are connected. Um, oh, there's a new bundle with Soma. Oh, and Polybridge. That's nice. Soma's a good game. I mean, I think it's an interesting game. I take it back. It's not a good game, but it's an interesting experience. And, and I know that they recently have a mode where they removed monsters. And that might actually be more fun. 
Um, no, yeah, no suggestions, Joe. <laughs> but yeah, there's no there's no combat. Um, so there's no there's no uh, there's no fighting or anything. I'm pretty sure that you can't die. I don't think there's anything like that. Um, it's just puzzles. But it's a neat, it's a super neat story. So, let's see, we want to, oh my god, it's so dark, I can't even, even see it. Let me see, is it showing up on OBS that dark? Yeah, it's so dark. Can't die, where's the risk? Well, if I can't figure out what how to get off this planet, then... Um, Threaten with death like Portal. Portal has infinite infinite lives. What's the what's the fun if you can't if you can't die? Um, all right, I'm gonna go back and take a better screenshot. I there's weird stuff here where it's like connected. Let me let me try something. So I think the way that I typed it in is not a um, proper number. And yeah, I'm not really sure. But I'm going to go take another screenshot because the screenshot that I took for some reason, how basic is taking a screenshot, but I can't read it. Luckily, we've opened up everything, so it's pretty easy to get through. Just have to run over here, I think. I think it's just because this house is dark, but that's not how screenshots work. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Um, maybe if I get up real close to it. Yeah, that's just a bug. Look at that. It's black. That's ridiculous. Um... Why are there so many bugs? Surely someone... The point of taking screenshots, I would guess, I would guess, is to record the puzzle things. Surely someone tried this. So, it's not just dots here, there's also lines. Refresh save? Uh, maybe. We actually haven't loaded at all. So I'm not sure what would happen. I don't know when it saves, honestly. That's a little bit scary. It seems like it saved an hour ago. I mean, a minute ago. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I think it's just because this room is dark, and something, if something, the way that it does the screenshots is uses the light of the room, not how it actually appears on the screen. Um, so okay, so here's what I'm noticing is that there's lines. God, come on, turn. Um, I don't know if this is...
So, I, I mean, I'd be willing to bet that this is related to the, uh, to the puzzle with the numbers. And I see these lines here, 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 and then there's lines here. Oh, we're supposed to rotate to the lines match up. No? Like, that's actually impossible. Making me nervous, gotta go for smoke. All right, pal. Thanks for, uh, thanks for suffering through it. <clears throat> um. All right, I want to take a Steam screenshot, which actually takes a picture of what your screen looks like. And uh, see what I can do to put it put it on the screen. How do I? Let's see. So, just trying to figure out. Go to. Profile, screenshots, okay, we're going to open this up, this is a little bit roundabout, but I think this will work. Okay, and then we're going to crap. Okay. 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 like that. <laughs> uh, cheating? What, what makes you think I'm cheating, Joey? Okay. So let's head back to the garage. It, so this kind of explains what's going on. I mean, it doesn't really, but... Um, but yeah, there's four planets. Um, well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, Joe. Um, so it's... Uh, there's four planets. They're swapping pieces back and forth. And... It's gotten kind of crazy. Who, who, I don't, I'm not even sure if, if one of the four species is doing it. Could be accident, could be somebody else, I don't know. Um, all right, let's go back to the thing. It, yeah, but if, if, you, if you consider taking notes to be cheating in a puzzle game, I, I think you're pulling my leg, Joey. Okay. 
so let's see here. Let me see what you guys see first. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty clear that the thing on the left corresponds to this uh, blue thing. Um, yeah, I I can only assume you're being sarcastic. Um, but this is how I'm going to play the game if you're not being sarcastic. So. Um, so the dots definitely correspond to these dots. Now, there's lines on the left, and I guess that those lines are meaningful, but maybe they just mean that there's no circle. Um, I'm I'm glad. I'm very glad that you're that you're kidding. Um, now, I was thinking, because the lines don't match up, maybe he can rotate, but rotating doesn't, doesn't make sense. But, I mean, it doesn't, uh, it, it, the shape of the lines are always preserved under rotation. Uh, But maybe that it's some something, something about the lines. I'm not sure. Um, but probably what we can do, and this is this is maybe gaming the system a little bit. But if if there is a rotation involved, we can just try. There's only four rotations. We can see which one is uh, which one is a, a real number. Um, I'm gonna try that. That seems pretty low effort. So we tried the other one. Let's do, let's rotate one to the right. Um, so yeah, it changed it. So that's, uh, that's not it. Oop. Okay, and then, wait, is that two? I think that's two. Uh, clear, clear, clear. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, I hope I didn't do that last time. Okay. So none of those, none of those work. All right, let's take a look at uh, the manual. Okay, so here, here's what you haven't seen. Um, so the idea is that. Uh, these aliens use this numbering system that's base four. Um, and, uh, yeah, so these different shapes correspond to different numbers.
we'd have to have uh, <laughs> I feel like it'd be easier if we had a different number of fingers um, yeah this is pretty weird because you've got these different dots, but you've also got the dots on the edges, but they're not the same number. So let's see. So I'm just drawing. I'm going to look at the screenshot. So there's these. I'm just, I'm just redrawing what's on the screenshot. Um, and it seems like the the things that matter are the connections. Yeah, that's weird. Um, okay, so forget <clears throat> forget trying to understand it completely from that sheet. What if I try to figure it out? Okay, I think this is what the sheet's saying. So here, it, it should, I wish it had just said it, but, so that's one. So two is either gonna be this one or this one, I'd imagine. So let's see. Oops. All right, so it goes down. Um, yeah, so two, three, four, five. Um, and then six is, uh, Six is has got to be. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. All right, let's let's see. Six six should be that weird one on the left, bottom left. Okay, it's not. So these this isn't <laughs> this isn't like all the digits. Um, okay. 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 So this should be. Let's see. Cancel. Wait. That, see, that still doesn't make sense. Um, all right. Let's. So let's try. So if this is one. Let's see what 10 is. I mean, five. OK. So ticking that little thing means that it's shifted over. All right, let me, let me write these down, or maybe Maybe we should do them on the um, on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'll open up Paint. Um, is this the best way to do this? Probably not, but I'm going to do it this way. Um, size. Oh, ooh, this is terrible. Uh, 
Um, I really wish there was an easier way to to kind of mess with images on stream. I haven't figured it out. I had a good way to do it. So, okay. So now I'm going to share this. If I can figure out how to do that. Okay. And can I? Uh, wish I could crop this. I put it. I don't know. See, this is this is the pain in the butt thing. Um, I'll do it like this for now. Um, it came out in 2016, I think, or some something like that. All right, so. Zero. One. Isn't this nice? Isn't this? This is only going to get to seven, but I'm going to put these uh, put these down. So so zero is nothing. Uh, one is like this. Let's just double check. One is not like that. Okay, so it's it's the thing is it's rotated, and I <laughs> I didn't draw it rotated, um, but that's okay. So you have to you have to rotate these a little bit, like that, just a bit. Okay, so that's so that's one. Let's just let's just go ahead and get the first ones down. All right, two. Um, it's like this. Three. Um, so here's. This is really weird to me. I, I feel like I'm missing something because um, like okay, so so then what would all right, so so ten uh, not ten, sorry. Um So five is is one, and that this is I think means shifted. So if we do not not shifted really, um, it's so it's so strange because it's this three D thing and it's throwing off all the stuff that um, like my instinct. Um, But so, you know, positional notations uh, do do something to indicate when, like, a digit is to the left, to the left, to the left, and otherwise it's it's the same. It repeats. That's the that's the great part of it. Like a four is a four, and if you if it's in the zero, it, it means four. If it's in the one ten slot, it means forty. If it's in the hundred slot, it means four hundred. Um, Let's read the top of this. Uh, yeah. So it says it, it says it's base four, which means that they only have, um, you know, like a zero, one, two, three. Uh, symbols. So they only have four total symbols, right? 
Um, just like in decimal, you have 10 symbols, 0 through 9. In binary, you have two symbols, 0 and 1. So they only have three symbols. Um, but I, I would I would sort of have guessed that they wouldn't overlap. Um, but I don't know. I've never really thought about a 3D thing before. Like, how do they represent digits that are more than three three digits? That's what's weird. Like, does this just keep going? I don't know. Um, let's see. So. So we've written down, let's just check here, three, I mean, uh, two. And we've written down three. Uh, Joey, I, I, I don't want this to sound mean at all, but, um, but I, I really want to figure this stuff out without any hints or suggestions. Um, and I even even things like um, you know oh keep trying you can get it I feel like are sort of suggestions um, and it's not this isn't mean I'm tr not trying to be mean at all um, and it's probably frustrating to watch and I apologize for that but I, I may I may eventually figure this out just give me a chance. Um, all right, so we've got our three, and and the point of the game is I'm going to try to show you my thought process, and I, I'm hoping that that's interesting. Yeah, it's okay, Joey. It, I think everybody's natural instinct is to help. It's um, it's just human. Um, no, it's no big deal. All right, so I'm going to try to show you my thought process, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's interesting. But that's kind of the nature of a of an unspoiled pl uh, playthrough. All right, so yeah, so we've got three, and I guess what's weird about this to me is that one and three overlap. Um, so that just sort of right off the bat, that seems weird to me. Maybe maybe it's okay. Maybe it works out, but it seems weird. Okay, so right, so this. This is the thing. Okay, so it's not a positional notation. All right, let's let's write it down. Let's write it down and then and then I'll look at it. So this is 4. So 5. Okay. So 5 they do they, they are added. But I guess that's what's throwing me. Let's so I guess let's keep going. Six. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, so I'm not sure how this is actually going to help me solve the puzzle because it's that's that part uh, is not clear. But so if we look at um, so eight. So this is so okay. So it's basically it should be powers of four. So so zero, four, sixteen. Uh, Sixty four. 256, right? Uh, 
Um, and uh, and the next is ten twenty four, but this thing only accepts four four digits. So like if you go and then so that's three digits. If you go one more, it's it's an error. But actually, if we do nine eight seven whatever. can supposedly represent this. Okay. All right. So we need to know um, we need to know zero, one, two, three, and we need to know four. So I'm going to undo these. Um, Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I can't delete? <laughs> that's not what I meant to do either. Um, That is definitely not what I meant to do. Okay. Go back to this. I think we're fine with that. Whatever. All right, so we'll do uh, 4, 16, 64. 256. Eh. Uh, hold on a second. So let me take a look. So being able to see the game is more important than face cam, and I'm covering the blob deck. So you're saying you're saying move this across. I mean, that's fine. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, fair enough. There's it's <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff going on, and it's hard to uh, to get it right. But I appreciate the feedback. Um, I really need to get a second monitor <laughs> so that I can see what you all see at the same time. And I think that that would help, but instead I have to keep a lot of stuff in my head and play the game, and and I, it's uh, it's kind of tricky. But I think this is what we need. So let's let's figure out sixteen sixty four two fifty six, and then we can at least um, test our, our understanding. So um, okay, so I gotta I gotta be flipping back. So we got. Four is that, so 16. Let's test 16. Okay. So let's write it down. It's like that. Okay. And uh, 64. Okay, that uh, makes sense. It should be, it should be simple. Um, and 256 should should be relatively simple. Oops. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to test myself. So if we if we make up a number, um, so what's a good number? Uh, 735. Okay, so that is. 735 minus 256. Uh, this isn't this isn't gonna work out, is it? Okay, alright, so we need one more part. We need one more part. Um so let's see what 
Okay, can't quite test it out. Um, but yeah, it's going to be something like uh, so three. So okay, I'll I'll do the arithmetic first. So it's going to be 2 times 256. Um, so and then 735 minus 12 is 223. Jesus Christ, this is crazy for a, for a, for a game like this. All right, and then plus 3 times 64 2, 2, 2, 3 minus 1 9, 2 is 31 um, so that's 116 minus 16 it says 15 all right, so that's three times four. So fifteen minus twelve is three plus three. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I have it pulled out in in base four. So seven hundred thirty-five is two times two hundred fifty-six plus three times sixty-four plus one times sixteen plus three times four plus three. Um, and so we know certain parts, like we know three, right? And we know what things like one times four is, but what about two times four? So let's see what that looks like. So two times four is eight. Okay, so so two times four so we look at uh, we look at paint. Um, it it does look like two in that place, doesn't it? And and that's maybe uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh. So so this is. Um, if this is the fours place, and this is one, it it looks like maybe four times one is just to put to put the one shape in that hole. Um, but that doesn't. That doesn't work out for the. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you shift it. So you shift it up one and left one, essentially. So you shift this up one and left one, and that's what you get. Okay. So I'm gonna make a prediction. We'll test it. Um, so three times four is twelve. So twelve is gonna look like. Um, uh, this in the top, God, blast it. This in the top left corner. Um, so I'll, I'll draw it and then see what the number is. So clear, zero. So let's make sure I get this right. So like this. All right, so basically it's just the three shifted up one and left one. 
So theoretically, this is going to say 12. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's see if this uh, let's see if this generalizes. So um, if we want to do okay, so sixteen. All right, so we'll look at this first. So sixteen um, is 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 okay. So actually, maybe I'll do. Four, sixteen, sixty four, two fifty six. So four is um, up one, left one. Okay, and uh, the question is, you know, what's the what what sixteen? What's the trick for sixteen? And it looks like the trick for sixteen is um, up one, right one. Okay, so if that's true, then let's predict what, uh, let's say, 32 would be. So 32 should look like this. Boom! Headshot. Okay. All right, so we need to figure out uh, 64. So 64 is... Um, down one, right one. All right, so let's do, uh, let's say three, three times 64. So that's 192. And so if I do, uh, so let's see, so I said down one, down one, right one. Okay, so it would be this. So this should be 100, what did I say? 192. Beautiful. All right. There's only one more, thankfully. So 256 is, uh, is uh, down one, left one. Okay, so and I, I mean we can test it if you want. So two, uh, let's say two times uh, two fifty six is five twelve, and um, so that would be that L shape down one left one, which I think is this. This should be five twelve. Beautiful. All right, I think I understand the encoding now. That doesn't actually help us solve the, um, the the puzzle, but let me let me I can do one final test here, which is uh, we get it to display an actual complicated number. So we have seven thirty five is two times two to the fifty six, three times sixty four, one times sixteen, three times four plus three. Um, so okay, I'm gonna write these on my notes so that I don't have to go back to this. Zero, one, two, three, zero. Two, 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 two. Okay. Um, thanks, Joey. All right, so, so one. Two and three. All right, so let's do this. So two. Let's. This is just a test. This isn't actually the puzzle in the game, but um, so two times two to the fifty-six. So that's uh, let's see, six zero. Shit. One, two, three. Um. All right, so L, all right, so that's two times two to the 56. So then three times 64, so down one, right one. Um, 
Jesus Christ. This is really hard to do because I'm bad at shapes. So uh, this. All right. Uh, and then 1 times 16. Up one, right one. Three times four might make a mistake the first time. All right, up one, left one. Oh, I think I. Well, well, just keep going. Um, up one, left one. Okay. E yeah, I made a mistake. This is thrilling streaming, I'm sure. This is just absolutely thrilling. Um, all right, try one more time. Let's see. So, two times three, fifty-six. Uh, down one, left one. Like this. Three is the hardest for me, just because it, it's got uh, a lot of points. Um, all right, down one, right one. Okay. All right, one times 16. Up one, right one. That's this again, isn't it? Three times four, up one, left one. Um, ah, okay. That's where the mistake was. Okay, um, and then three. Okay, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet a dollar <laughs> that this is 735. Uh, here we go. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> With that, I'm exhausted. All right, um, here's the problem. I still don't actually know how to solve the puzzle, but I, I do believe that I understand this, uh, this encoding. Wow, Pale. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Pale. Um, it's, it's, that <laughs> I, it's boring, it's boring, it's boring. And then, and then it's exciting, right? Um, you followed along? Oh, great. I I have a really hard time with shapes, and so I try to hold the little T shape in my head, and I would forget it by the time I by the time I bring it over. But yeah, it's it's essentially these movements. So up one, left one means multiply by four. Up one, right one means multiply by sixteen. Down one, right one means multiply by sixty-four. Um, the problem is. The problem is, what does this species do when they need to multiply by 1024? Because you've exhausted the, the different possibilities. Um, I guess they have to go to three dimensions, and then four dimensions, and then five dimensions. But the game designers didn't really worry about that. Okay. All right, let me... Let me go back to OBS and break down some of this junk that's on the screen. So we'll turn off paint. Um, more panels. More, you want me to add more to the screen? So here's the thing. The, the puzzle, right, says sp spells out 15 on this grid. The problem is, 
Um, that's not necessarily an actual number. I mean, it's not an actual number. Well, the, the, the beauty, I, I, I really don't want to say beauty because the problem is this doesn't scale, right? Like, again, what do you do when you get up to numbers bigger than uh, 1023? Um, but up until you get to 1023, it doesn't, um, it doesn't coll collide. So it should be a unique pattern for every number up to 1023. Um, yeah. And they just, they only go up to, uh, to three digits because having this be up to 1023 would be weird. So they just do three digits. But, um, but every number has a unique, has a unique encoding. And that's just because of the shapes and then the way that they shift it. Um, so it's like a property of that. Who needs numbers larger than 10 to anything? Apparently these aliens don't. Um, so m maybe they're smarter than us and they figured out everything. Hey, look. Oil sale, 15 cents. Maybe that's a clue. Maybe not. Um, all right. So... All right, I can do this encoding. I still don't know what the solution to the puzzle is, which I feel like is a bad puzzle. Like going through and, and learning that should be the solution, um, but it's not. So, all right, I'm double checking OBS again. So you see, you see this up here. Um, this isn't a valid encoding. <laughs> you should use your feet. Maybe these aliens have lots of feet. Um, <sighs> All right, I'm going to clear. So if I, can I, does it let me connect these? No. So when I encode the fake 15, which looks exactly like this, I believe, right? Like that's the same rotation. It, it doesn't have a number. I mean, maybe that's the code in the whole Then I didn't actually have to learn this language. Maybe the code is 406. <laughs> God, I hope it's not. I mean, maybe maybe that's the code. But the problem is uh, it's not a valid number in this language. And I think it even says something in this paper. It says, like, yeah, the panels will autocorrect for invalid entries. So... God Almighty, if, if that's the if that's the answer, is just put it in and then hit the button. I kind of went through a little too much trouble there. Um, I suppose, I suppose we should try it. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm going to be really sad if that's the solution. Um, all right, to try it, we have to run up to the hill. How do we have to get on? It would be it would be funny. <laughs> I don't know if I would find it funny. 
but it would be funny. Um, all right, I've written it down, 406. So the other thing I was thinking is maybe I have to rotate it. Um, yeah, but I, I feel like if you, I don't know if you can see my cursor here, but if you look in the upper left corner with the, with the circles, like this is a huge hint, right? This is obviously this thing. Everybody would say, oh, those circles are the same. And then the other board to have a 15, like it's pretty clear what you do. So why would they hint that and not use a ballot number for one? Why would they hit all this? And when they, it was enough to hit this, I think. I, I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe, what about a rotation? What about, um, I, I don't know, just something, something else. Like, I don't, I don't know. But I think I did all the rotations. Um, So, so if we rotate once, and then this is like this, right? That's 15. That's not a valid number. Um, and then like this, so this goes, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I did them all. Oh, that's a two. Okay, sorry. I can't seem to, to undo it. Okay. I think you just have to do it clear, clear. It's a little bit fiddly. Okay, that's a 15 for sure. Not a number. Yeah, I, I just think you have to go out to these edges. So if the puzzle has a solution, it's to s somehow connect edges up. Um, but I, I think it's worth... I'm going to be really disappointed in this game if it's... If it's just plug it in. How, how do we get back up there? I think. Um, I think we take a teleporter from the front. There's a, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I'm, I'm going to do it this way. This is what I was talking about having to do a map. Um. <clears throat> All right. All right, we're on top of the waterfall. Um, can I walk here? I don't think so. This goes to where we found the first teleporter. Um, crap.
so the, <laughs> we found a lot of new stuff all at the same time and unlocked a lot of areas. And I'm not entirely sure how we did all of them. Thank you. But I'm pretty sure it involves I think it involves that wall. Um, we have to get up there. Um, up here. I'm going to try this again. Ugh. All right. So what I just did was went down here. Instead, do something else. Okay. This seems this seems like it could be it. So now we're now we're up on this wall. Um, good. Okay. All right. Now here's the here's the point at which this game falls short for me, <laughs> or remains cool. So the thing that was displayed was 406. Oh my god. <laughs> number system and then not use it in a puzzle game. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. Oh my god. <sighs> exactly. There's bound to be a twitchy mode for that, right? There's bound to be a, a, a sad uh, twitchy mode. So it looks like the I think the mayor was Joseph. Vote for Joseph. Uh, Joseph for mayor. Maybe this was his house. Um. So. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. Um. So Pale, you're saying so what you're what you're saying is you're gonna you're gonna ask me something that I just figured out. Is that what is that what you're saying? Like it's not a hint for something else. Uh, uh, let's screenshot it. But now I don't even trust the screenshots. I think I have to take Steam screenshots. Look at that. I'm just going to take Steam screenshots. All right, let's let's open things up. It's always better to have easier ways to get into those places. Um, oh, we've been here. This is the tree. Oh, we've been here too. So this goes up to the top of the sluice. Uh, 
Um, I finished this puzzle and I don't think this is relevant anymore. I should think that it made me nervous that I could reason because it was solvable without it. I, is it some? Is it like I missed a I missed a hint related to um, the number system? It, as long as you don't reveal something that might be a hint for another puzzle, I guess it's it's fine. Um, the bleeder collects the dissipate power of the ecosystem so it looks on the concentration. I can't read this. He's trying to get control over the trees or something. This is page one of two, but I can't. I guess it's this. Okay, so there's some power thing. Oh, nice. Another. Oh, very nice. All right, so we've unlocked another shortcut. Uh, yeah, I tried to line the overhead light in the 15. There was a third handle. Do you think that does up and down? Is that what I missed? What? May all your doors stay open. Oh, I bet this is going to be useful. It's so hard to rotate stuff. I guess, again, it's like, so this is a, a game you can play in VR. And I bet it's easy in VR, but it's they, the mouse controls are horrible. So this doesn't even rotate. It doesn't work. As a, as a compass, I mean. I didn't pull the screen all the way down. Oh, really? You think that that would have locked the puzzle in? Oh, does this one work? Oh, this this one works. I also cannot see it. Who who gives you a who gives you a compass that you can't get close? I don't know if this is important, but it seems plausible that that's important. Jesus Christ. Um, I'll, I'll just, I'll go back to it. So I'm wondering, I feel like I should at least skim this. A clue to that code has been placed under the direction, under the direction of our first mayor. Oh, sorry, I, did I leave that up? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go back here. I'll go back here before I stop tonight. Um, I forgot I had left this up. Uh, is this... yeah. Um... Okay, I think this explains the war. 
So Chavar is an emissary of some kind, I think. If, if Farley doesn't hear from Chavar by the end of blah blah blah, then there is no turning back. The mode, mode Fang bastards trying to kill them. Um, so there's some kind of, there's a vault, I guess that's where CE is, but there's something that there may be I don't know, this chambering thing? Okay, whatever. So what I got out of that, though, is that there is a hint for something under the direction of our first mayor. Luther Roscoe. Now, what direction is Luther Roscoe in? I would assume that would have something to do with the compass. Which, oh, 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 I have an idea. If I can freaking get the mouse to do it. Eh, ha <laughs> ha! It's so fiddly. Washington. Uh, what? Have we seen something to do with Washington? Let's see if we can get this working. Oh, there's stuff down there. Um, yeah, so I was saying earlier we we made it to the top and we couldn't um, couldn't get down. Now we're down and we can't get up. That's really weird. Uh, I don't see anything having to do with Washington. This is going to be a jump scare because of how silent it is. Yeah, the music is, is interesting. It comes and it goes, and I'm not exactly sure. Like, there's a sound here. Really, really subtle. Really subtle. Uh, but I agree. It, it does a good job making you feel a certain way. Uh, all right. I I feel like Washington should be in this room, but let me let me read this book again to see what it says. What's it a hint for? A clue to the code, the upper tower access code. Oh, okay. So it was a six-digit number um, at the top. That's why we needed, I think, maybe. 
So what would Washington have to do with six digits? License plate. Um, I've seen license plates before. But I don't know where. But perhaps we can find a Washington State license plate. And that's the code for the tower. Um, it seems like we have to get access to that elevator maybe before we can go in here because we have to fix this gear. Um, so I'll head over to show you what that thing was that uh, that I missed, and we'll see we'll see how it works. If I can. Oh, I missed one. Dang at it. But I will destroy. It. What's through here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no idea. Um, what this part of the map is for. So it's really chill. Okay. All right, so in here, there's this projector and these two screens. And Pale Sing, I didn't pull the screen down all the way. <laughs> I get it now. And then it would line up if, um, I see. Uh, uh so the 15 or... Not really sure. Hellblade, send your sacrifice. Is that the one with the blue face, the lady in the blue face? I haven't played it, but um, it seemed really interesting. Um, this is really finicky. But yeah, good good call, Pale. I I doubt I ever would have thought to change the screen because I think I would have assumed that the screen would just lock in the correct position. Yeah, there's no way I can even knowing even knowing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs> like. That, that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty close. That's close enough. Yeah. The problem is, why is it a fucking 15? Why don't they just put the... Like, here's what, here's what have been the real puzzle on hard mode or whatever. It would have been, like, missing something, you know? It would have been scratched out or, I, I don't know. You'd have to understand it to figure it out. Um... And then this, the fact that this map with this circle tells you that it's the code for that location, I feel like this is way too much hint. Hey, Soy Nobody, how are you? Welcome back. Uh, it's way too much hint for such a simple code. I bet, I bet that nobody could figure out the original puzzle, and then at the last minute they fixed it so that uh, it was easier. Because it's way too much of a hint. Like... It should be enough of a hint that it's three digits, uh, in my opinion. 
there's each each different puzzle has a different number of digits. Um, I I guess. Speaking of digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ever played the room in the room two? Uh let me see. Let me I I think, but I wanna look it up. Um Yeah, I played the room one on my phone. Is that a, is that a possible thing that I did? I think I played it on my phone. Um it was pretty cool. It there's definitely it feels it feels similar. Uh, isn't it interesting that these colors are the same colors used by the planets? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I looked at it. I'm definitely sure I played the room. I, it was really cool. Really cool. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm not exactly sure what to do next. I feel like um, we uncovered a whole bunch of stuff. Like, there's a whole other planet, and I feel like there's things we can do there. Mm, I want to, I really want to find the Washington thing. So where would license plates be? Probably the garage. Um, let's walk through her house and go back to the garage. Because... Um, that elevator seems important. We're supposed to get to the base of the tree, or the, I don't know. We still haven't even got to the tree. So let's head that way. It really is, yeah. I mean, I, I live in New York City, so it's not, it's not such an illusion. But uh, it, it really does sound real. I'm sure it's recording. It's fantastic. I think the sound, I mean... I, um, I think the sound is really good. I think this game's design is fantastic. Good thing it isn't warm enough for this case. Oh, do you not like the sound, Pale? Fuck yeah! So it's... So th there's a Washington license plate, but it has DJM. And I don't remember the thing having letters um, I'm gonna take a two screenshots one using the reliable steam method um, how could we translate D and this is rhetorical but how can we translate DJM and there's six there's six digits how could we translate DJM to a number a phone, we could use a phone pad. Uh, make, a phone actually kind of makes sense because there is a phone right here. That's got to be it. Um, oh. That's kind of a complicated puzzle. I feel like this is a way more complicated puzzle than the, um, than the base four stuff. So three, five, six, and uh, the last three numbers, 807. Three, five, six, eight, oh, seven. Too big, too big for your taste. 
I mean, cicadas don't really do anything to you, though, Pale. No Illinois plate? Game's trash. <laughs> uh, why did I just put this up? I wrote down an important number in it, and I put it away. Like, no, don't with that. Three, five, six, eight, seven. Let's go try to find um, that thing again. And I, th I think we opened the way, so it's much easier to get back up. Um, so as a kid, I think I really, I, I kind of, I don't know if fell in love is the right word, but I really like cicadas simply because, um, you know, I'd find their little maltings, and I just thought they were super cool. I used to take, used to make drawings of them, like I was a naturalist. Um, they've never bothered me. All right, pretty sure it's up here. I guess this is the tower, not the not the water tower. All right. Oh, it's even it's even a phone. Oh shit! There's no. There's no letters or numbers on it. Okay. <clears throat> Three. Five. Six. Eight. Go. Booyah! Yada. Um, the the design of the of this entry makes it a lot clearer that you have to use a phone number. Um, but I I lucked out. All right, let's see if we go up first. We can. So I can't just eat one. You guys are grossing me out. Spiders, I cannot stand spiders. I, I'll take a cockroach over a spider for the rest of my life. Um, so this looks like a multi-planet puzzle. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay, what, 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 what would it be if, like, something just walks across? Um, I've never seen a cockroach. I guess congratulations. Um, I assume that we have to make these dials go up or make them the same, something like that. Uh, not entirely sure. Just gonna take my quick look at OBS, make sure I had turned off all the little overlays. Oh god, oh god, I almost thought I fell. It's, it's very pretty. Very pretty. Ooh. This is like a TNT plunger. Where's this going? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm pressing it. I mean, you know I'm pressing it. Where's the explosion? <clears throat> I am disappointed. 
has to be cool in VR. Yeah, I bet so. Uh, I, I honestly, if, if, if you don't get nauseous, I bet this game is like way better in VR. The controls and everything. Um, hold on, let me let me press that one more time. I wanted to see if the television changed. Uh, like, you know, maybe maybe it switches the stations. Um, all right, well that's fine. No worries. Let's see if we can go up. Can't go up. Let's see. Wait, why is there a recall here? Oh, in case you step off. Okay, let's go down. I. <laughs> oh, hi, uh, Wobbin D. Wonder Dog. Welcome. I I was hoping for an explosion myself. Um, it's like standing in what what was it Penny Tower and looking over Megaton. Uh, in Fallout Three. All right, that's where we entered. Now we get to go to the uh, um, mayor's office. And now we get to go to somewhere new. Please. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Joey. Or just like a hand. Um, or that chick from the ring. OK. So I guess this is his little apartment, the mayor. He's got a nice, nice place. He's got a trumpet. Well, none of this I can really interact with. Well, oh god. Right. Let me get a better handle of that. Crow man. Oh god, exactly. Oh. Oh, there we go. I love the idea that even if you didn't have running water and you had a toilet, you just dig a hole below the toilet and then you get to sit on a toilet. Don't have to squat over a hole. Um, all right, this is the room below the tree, I believe. So we have to do something, fix this or just crank it. The door was just a grate. All right, so okay, so now we go up and we can go to the tree. This has got to be a big, a big part of the game, right? We've been trying to get to the tree the whole time. This is this is where Crowman's coming, Joey. So watch out. Actually, there was a jump scare, wasn't there, Pale? I, I screamed earlier. Well, I don't know if I'd say screamed. It was more of like a like a hurrah, like a yell. It's a pretty pretty big tree. I, I have no idea. I assume to, to escape. If I even can. Okay. Well they did say the tree had an underground. Um, so earlier, we, we turned this hose on. This is this is going to be bad, isn't it? <laughs> Uh-oh, it's loading. Better, better watch the, the VOD. I don't know what you're talking about, pal. The only screams that I utter are, are war cries uh, as, as I, uh, you know, destroy my enemies. I'm, honestly, I'm surprised you didn't clip it. Oh, that's a cool little sound. Whew. 
So, colored hoses, I bet we're going to have a colored hose puzzle. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Uh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a sound effect. Did you ever consider that possibility, Pat? Holy shit! This is cool. This is so pretty. This game is is gorgeous. Great sound design and great art design. I love it. Look at there's a little thin wire here. Oh my god. I mean, we have to go through it, but but maybe I should maybe I should look at other stuff first. <laughs> um Oh dear. All right, so this needs to be powered. Oh, it's a walkie-talkie. So there, so there was a walkie-talkie at the top of the tower. Uh, what's that? And and why is the tree floating? Oh, trees love water. I got a, I got an achievement for that. The glow must flow. Um, I hope this is a benevolent tree. I mean, everybody seems to say that the that the tree is a good tree, but exactly energetic energetic exhaling. That's exactly the right word, Phil. Um, it looks like by giving the tree water, maybe it's producing electricity or something. Maybe we have to get more electricity. But at any rate, I guess we've, um, well, actually, I'm not sure. I was going to say maybe there's water in all the hoses, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. All right, so so green is sort of the yellow place. Oh look, there's one up top. What does that go to? Um. <laughs> oh, it powered the freaking portals. It looks like there's a there's a there's a tree in there. What if there's a tree at the center of each planet? I'm thinking of changing the names, Pale, because because once we realize that the teleport brings all the dirt with it, I feel like that should be called swapping. And I and I you know I hate to change it, but it, it makes more sense because you're actually swapping all the earth, the the land. So I think I'm gonna call that swapping. Um, but look at this. When you look back, there's nothing here. That's pretty cool. It, it really feels neat. But see how there's a window? What goes up there? Oh, there's a staircase. Wait, is this where we came in? Oh, that's where we came in. Oops, I, I loaded it. Um... So, so I'm probably going to call... Jesus Christ, it takes a long time to load. So I'm probably going to call this teleport spheres shifting. And the one where you walk, like, through the boundaries... Call that teleporting. <clears throat> I don't know. Gotta... Gotta, gotta re react on your feet, you know? Um, this is creepy as fuck. So there's a red door. 
and a green hose. All right, I gotta just pick one and go through to see what happens, I think. There's, there's red, oh, oh, it's the same colors from the map. So these planets, maybe, I'm not actually quite sure about that. The colors change, so, but let's just pick one. And then the doors are different color. Oh my God. Wait, can't go through. Uh, what, what should the portaling be called? I don't know. Maybe we can't go through portals. Let's try, let's try each of them. They were the wrong color. So there's, it's so weird. There's a yellow wire and a green hose. This has to be a color puzzle. This one has a green wire and a green hose? All right, I can't, I can't go through any of them. Um, all right. All right, I'm gonna take, so I'm, I'm really enjoying this and I, I wanna keep playing even though we've been playing a long time. But I'm gonna take like two minutes <laughs> to recover a little bit and then I'll play maybe like 30 more minutes. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be right back. Being colorblind, yeah. I, I feel like I don't see color very well, but I, I don't think I'm colorblind. All right, so I'm gonna be right back. Hang on to your hats or whatever. Here I be. All right, so I've got some more precious tea, and uh, I I cannot believe how long we've been we've been playing. Um, I think it's a testament to how good this game is. We we've been playing for six and a half hours straight uh, on this puzzle game. Oh, hey, little Lucy Lou, how are you? Boy, look at everybody's going crazy with the emotes. Uh, let's see. Just gonna look at some stuff here for a second. Split pea soup. Oh, that sounds good. I get. Is that? Uh, is that like a thick? Like the peas get uh, thick and thick in the soup. I like lentils a lot. I imagine it as being like really cooked lentils. Okay. 
So like I said, I'm going to play for 30 more minutes or so. I'll probably forget, and then it'll be tomorrow. But uh, but I'm, I'm shooting for 30 minutes. I have to I have to go eat at some point. So we've got wires that we can't interact with. Basically, Lennel suit, but Lennel said, "Okay, yeah." For some reason, that jump that jumped to mind. Um, when I make peas, I like to take uh, butter, I like to add butter and hot sauce and pepper and salt, and then cook them until they fall apart and uh, they get like uh, mushy. But not like not like London mushy peas because these are actually flavored. So, I guess they're tapping into the tree. Something. So blue and red come in. And then... I don't know, I can't interact with any of this, so I guess it's not a puzzle, but... then I think there's nothing I can do here. We, we made it to the tree, but there's nothing to do. Well, I mean, I guess we powered up the tree, or fed it, or watered it. So maybe it'll do something on the over, over ground. What's it called? Surface. How do you say surface? This is the end of the game. Yeah, it, what if I just couldn't leave and it's like, you've lost. You, you found the bad end. Um, so I was telling uh, people earlier that in the in the Mist game that this is sort of I don't know if it's spiritual successor, but it's certainly similar to and has people on the same team. Um, there are bad endings, and it's totally possible that there's a bad ending in this game. So so something blue just exploded. I don't know what that was. Did y'all see that? Tree tree seems happy. I, I maybe it was a graphical glitch. Oh wait, what's that? It looks like a like a like radar or whatever something. Maybe it's talking to the tree, maybe it's listening to the tree, maybe it's sapping it with energy. Taking energy from it, no idea. The bad ending of the game is the Earth disappears forever. I have a feeling we're not getting back to Earth. Um, you know, I, here's what I think. I think we should go visit the only human that we found, I mean, I, I guess he's, he wanted us to do something, and I no longer think he's evil, but I think he might be crazy, and we've done all sorts of stuff, maybe he'll be, maybe he'll do something, let us in, <laughs> Mars too, and Phobos, and Demios, uh, Doom never had him. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. There's a dude, there's a vault here, and there's a dude in it. And we talk to him, and he's like, Hey, you've got to go fix a tree. 
Oh, by the way, why don't you plug something in for me? I'm not really sure what that was. Oh. Yeah, okay. We can't go up there anymore. Um, still don't know what to plug in, but I'm just gonna just gonna talk to him. Yeah, Fallout, the full full motion video. Um, so poor fellow is a terrible actor, but he's really trying. I feel like he's got a lot of heart. Um, he reminded us about this battery thing. I have no idea where this battery plugging in... I would assume it's around here, but I don't see anything. This kind of looks like an old-timey battery, right? I have no idea. So, okay, so what he said was plug in all the trees, which maybe fits the, the idea that I was saying, which is that maybe there's a tree on each world. And basically we have to fix them all, and then, and then probably this guy kills us. I don't know, but that's my idea. Still don't see a battery. If I were a battery. That was Robin Miller, co-founder of Cyan. Really, I guess that explains a lot. So I think in the in the original um, Mist, weren't some of the developers actors as well? Like. The brothers. I feel like they weren't real actors, like they worked for the company. Um, <laughs> like, 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 it's. <laughs> I get you, Joey. I get you. I really understand. And that's really creepy. Um, I'm not even sure I could explain it better than, than you did. But yeah, like, in real life, he was just, he looked like that. He played Cirrus, one of the brothers? Okay. Um, so, I guess we should head back to the second planet. Um, I don't know the best way to go about doing so. We know of at least two ways. Um, I don't, I don't know if there's much else that's pressing around here. Like, I feel like we've sort of been most places. Um, so let's, he let's head back to the second planet. And so for those of you who missed it, there's these devices that connect all these planets together. And they look like this. And when you activate one, a sphere around this thing. So like there's like part of the land and the doors and the walls and whatever all get transported to the other planet. And so you see you see this like circle. Um, that circle is actually because this rock came from somewhere else. Uh, well, actually, I think it's meant to be the same color, but it's not, because these walls are supposed to be together. But you see how it carved out a hole through the wall? That's that's the idea. 
there's no use for you to play a puzzle game right now. I guess. I bet in ten years you'll forget everything, and then you then you can play. Um. No idea what this is. Clearly a hint of some kind. All right, let's do it. I didn't uh, I didn't play through mist until until I was like 30 so like 15 years later or something like that all right so here we go so um, we've transported this thing back and it's this little spear of, of, you know, dirt earth, or I don't even know if it's Earth's dirt. It may be this first planet's earth, but um, it's just hanging out. So I, I'm going to actually go back. Um, so there's multiple ways to get to the different planets. And by moving these balls of dirt around, it changes the, the map. It changes the level. It changes the world. It's a coconut. Um, I think what I really want to do is get on the other side of this wall and then use the device. I don't, I don't even know if that's possible, but, um, but until I figure that out, wait. Oh, <laughs> okay. So. Everybody except for Pale is probably really confused right now, but um, for the whole first part of this game, there was this big spherical rock here, and I kept saying, how do we dig this out? <laughs> and then I just explained to you how it moves the geometry around. So we swapped the rocks back that we didn't swap in the first place, so they were just wrong and then we swapped them correct and now I can walk through here and I'm excited but you're probably confused um oh there's a button on this side too so we can go back oh my god this is super cool okay so that was it I'm super glad I checked uh, I just wish this didn't take so long Very pretty. All right. Wait. Um, okay. <laughs> that may not have been the thing to do, but it is interesting. Um, so I think our ultimate goal is to shine a blue laser onto red laser. I don't know how to get blue laser, but there is a conspicuous window here. And blue laser might conceivably go through a window. Um... I have no idea the references that you're making. What's Shark Boy? What's Lava Girl? 
I have no I have no clue. I feel like I missed something. I know of left shark. Is that the same thing? Alright, I think we have to go back. But this is clearly important in the future. Cannot move this. This is the same thing they give you at the at the hair salon to dry your hair. Um, what's suppressing, Joey? That I uh, that I don't know who Shark Boy and Lava Girl are. Um, I'm sorry, pal. You're just gonna have to. You're just gonna have to grit your teeth and bear it because I didn't see anything. Um, but we'll come back eventually. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other teleporter. Um, which. I think, I don't know what the fastest way is, but I think we can go through here and then go right. Um, Alright, Joey sent me a visualization of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. So, I gotta check this out. Hold on. This is important. Um, this could be... <laughs> what in the world is this? But I get you. It does look like that. It does look like that. Um, I have, I have some questions, Joey. <laughs> uh, first of all, is that Adult Swim? Because it looks like Adult Swim, and that explains pretty much everything. All right, so we haven't really decided on a name for this, but I'm calling it teleporting for now. This, this sphere that we're in is connected somehow at the edges so that when you walk through one side, out one side, um, you come out another. And I can go to different places by going back in through a different place. It was a Disney movie? Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to head up here, and there's another teleporter to that second planet. And this teleporter will allow us to walk around. Um, but you have to keep in mind, I have to keep in mind, that when you take the teleporter, it swaps the two spheres. And... It, that's going to be huge. I, I mean, I know that they're going to use that a lot. Right now, it's correct, right? This mountain territory matches this mountain territory. But we're going to bring it into the other world. So when we were last here, we figured out how to turn these elevators on. Um, I wonder if I should, should I go in it and take it up? Because then I won't be able to call it back down. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna explore. All right. So there could be a lot of stuff that we haven't done here. Um, we sort of scooted through this part a bit quickly.
Um, there seems like there's all sorts of nooks and crannies that we could explore. But we can move this contraption around. And at some point we're going to have to go off into these well, these uh, th there's, a, there's a sphere here. You see how the uh, earth changes? So if we, we go over there and, and we get teleported somewhere. But we have to turn off the red beam first, which I don't really understand, but that's that's a thing. This is, I believe this is the inhabitants of this planet, which is some kind of creepy little crab looking dude. Um, seems pretty chill. Uh, he hasn't, he hasn't bit me or injected me with venom. The game does not let me jump into the abyss, yeah. Uh, probably for the best. So here's a sphere. Yeah, like you see, this is clearly coming from another uh, world. But there's no teleportation device. I'm not sure I understand that. There, there must be a way to swap without a teleportation device. Um, but that's probably a mystery for, for later. Bummer. <laughs> well, maybe if we had like a like a parachute or something. Um, otherwise, I'm pretty sure I would have lost the game a long time ago. Look how cool this is. So there's like a tropical world, and and there's a this dank world been swapped onto it. Alright, now here's, I feel like there's 1800 ways to go. I, there's probably only three, but um, I'm just going to kind of try to find paths. So, I think, I think there's something up there, but it, we can't get up there that way. Here's the red laser beam that we have to turn off. Um, scaredy cat, you think I should just jump down? You think there's... You think it would be a soft landing, little Lucy there? Alright, here we go! <laughs> you know what's funny is... Uh, there's, there's been games like... Like, World of Warcraft is one I can think of. Uh, I, I don't know, but these games where you have to take some giant leap off a cliff, and it actually makes my stomach do the do the stomach thing. Clouds of water. I land on fluffy little sheep and and squash them. It's, it's so... it's such a pretty game. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So now we have this machinery working. So I bet we're going to be able to do stuff. But not with this. Um, I, I'm still not sure what this is all about. It's a scene like that in Bloodborne. You can't progress with that show. But you don't know you live. Oh, interesting. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, that's a good example, Joey. And you have to jump off the towers and land in the bales of hay. And it's, I think, I think I got used to it, but the first few times I really felt my stomach going up. Um, my brain is like, this is, this is a bad idea. It's not even super realistic. It's third person, you know, like it's not even first person. It's so weird how, how brains are like that. Well, my brain. Um, 
Yeah, so we haven't been here before we turned this machinery on, like, we made it alive. But we have been here. This is the gray rock from the previous teleport. And so now that it's, like, level with the ground, we can walk up here to this red thing. But don't know what to do with it. It's, it's kind of annoyingly bright. Oh, in VR? Yeah. I wonder if it would... So, I, my initial reaction is that it would be much worse, but I wonder if it would be better simply because... You don't move. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like you're falling. Um, because, you know, like, all right, I tried, I tried a couple of VR things. Um, and I just felt like if I have to move around a room in a game, but I'm not moving in real life, what's the point? You know? Like, it doesn't feel real because it, I'm not moving. It'd be one thing if you were sitting, but when you're standing, it doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're sitting and you're in a car, that would make sense, or a roller coaster. Um, I feel like a roller coaster would work really well. Let's, let's go in here. This has got to be something. I don't remember a button, though. A uni treadmill? I think I've seen that when people get in socks and then they just like slide. Or is that something different? Um, these aren't moving. Okay, alright, okay. alright. Let's go on this one. Alright, okay. This has got to be something, right? I bet we have to make all this stuff turned on. This is like some kind of crazy chain, I think. Um, if I were a giant tr magical tree that was thirsty, telepathically connected to other planets, where would I be? Probably over there. I'm feeling. Oh, there's the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's the tree. Alright. Um. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> How nice is that? Uh, uh, shit, I can't get out of there. Classic, classic secrets. It is, it's funny how timing works sometimes, you know? Like, like I couldn't, even if I had wanted to set that up, I guess I could have set it up. I could have pretended not to see it. I was thinking about the game being not spoiled, but... Um... Yeah, I, I think I think anything in a vehicle is probably the best the best thing for a VR. Um, I, I played the Portal one, you know, like Portal Labs or whatever in VR, and you're supposed to walk around this room and it just you have to use the remote to walk. And I was like, I might as well be fucking using a mouse. This is ridiculous. Okay. Well I I don't know how to get over. But I guess we should go back up. Oh, did I really? Oh god. There's so much to look at, I think is the thing. And, but I was convinced it was straight ahead because it looks like there's so much cool stuff over there. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to go back to where the machinery was. But I'm going to do one more check over here to see if there's anything we can do. Because I see that 
there's a bunch of stuff <coughs> in front of it. Sometimes it's hard to see where the paths are. And oh, there's a gondola. Look, do you see? I I wonder which, from which side do we go to the other side? See, don't you think I could walk over that? But not, not apparently. Um. All right, let's try to find where the machinery was. I want to say that I hugged the left wall. Pale, Pale's, right now, Pale is screaming to himself because he knows exactly how to get back to the machinery. <laughs> He's trying not to spoil it. But I think I hugged the left wall. I think I think this is it. Great sound effects too. Nice. Um, they they come at nice times. Isn't this just a fucking gorgeous game? I mean, really, like the puzzles. Most of them have been good. But it's so pretty. <sighs> I was really worried that I was going to get motion sick playing this game. I, I get motion sick in VR, and I get motion sick in a lot of, like, I don't know indie is the right word, but let's say a lot of third-person games that aren't huge games. Um, but there's a there's an FOV slider, and I set it kind of high. I think that's helped a lot. Yeah, this is this is where we want to go. Is. is this like another of those bucket things? Oops, oh, we've been here. You love it, Bill? You, you love it when I know where to go? <laughs> or you, you love screaming at the monitor? Yeah, so we saw, this is the thing we saw earlier. I guess it's just something. <laughs> I don't know, that wasn't very helpful, but it's like a thing that clearly repeats. Um, oh, these are making this crackling sound kind of startling. The scenery, yeah. Yeah, how can you not? I've got two eyes and a heart, don't I? Um, and I really like the machine. So, okay, all right, we never revisited the sub, but we should have looked at the submarine when we were back in the other place. I forgot, I forgot to do that. So there's this, this thing is freaking it looks very intimidating, but based on the other puzzles in the game, I bet that there's a simple solution to it. So, look at this thing. Each of these buttons does something. And switches do something, or dial, ratchet dials do something. These do something. Click clickies do something, these do something. It's crazy, right? You can even type in letters. Um, I have no idea what to do. Oh, these are these are numbers at the top, it looks like. They're just uh, grayed out. 
Um, so we have, let me see if, hopefully they'll show up. Some of the photos, if they're taken in a dark environment, even though they look fine on the screen, they, they're they literally black in the photos, which is really stupid. But I took some photos of a submarine. I don't know if I... I don't, I don't know why this whole screen is so dark. Um, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So there was the submarine, and it's got these numbers. Okay, <laughs> I think I get it. So let me show you. It's got these numbers, seven, six, eight, and I, and I kept thinking, if if these are the um, if these are the numbers used for a code somewhere, then um, we just have to try all the combinations, but. What we have right in front of us is a puzzle where the, the order doesn't matter. You just have to light up 7, 6, and 8. And I bet all the buttons is just to confuse you. You just get 7, 6, and 8 somehow. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not just to confuse you, but I think it's ne unnecessarily complicated. Um, and the reason why this matters is, or why I think that this is relevant, is that, and I didn't take screenshots, but there's signs that are in Cyrillic. So, you know, they seem, it seems connected. So I bet we have to get seven, six, and eight. Oh, there is no eight, fuck. All right, so much for that theory. I mean, there's an 8 at the top, but I don't even know how to turn those on. There's also two numbers next to one. Alright, alright, I don't know what to do, but um, that's the thing. Um... We've basically solved this puzzle, I think. We've turned all these machines on. But there could be things left. Like, a lot, like, that stuff doesn't seem to be turning. Um, but I think we've done this. know how we get to those. So, okay, so then we... We went this way, and we got to that elevator. And there might be other things to do there, but let's see if we can go maybe to the other way. I, I love how this game makes me feel completely lost and like there's so many different things, places where I can go. much about our character, if anything, but uh, people have to eat, right? I bet they're eating these eggs. They've got to, they've got to eat to survive. They've got to eat alien eggs. The 
three things that let that let me that I guess made me super scream till now. You solved one of them. When you catch your plane next time, I'll cheer if you solve the other two so you know I can say a piece. <laughs> I'm sorry it's frustrating, Phil, but I I'm having a lot of fun. I hope um I hope you've been able to enjoy it more than it's been frustrating. Are you heading out? I think I think I said 30 more minutes and it's been 45. But I'm going to do one more loop, so I'm just going to finish this walk over here. And when we make it back to the start without finding anything, I'm going to quit. Um, but we've done this walk once and it led us to an elevator. So pretty. So we went, okay, so we went down the elevator. And I can't call it. I can't seem to call it up. I really thought I'd be able to call it. Um, which is fine, I guess. That's probably part of a puzzle. So let's go back the other way. Just want to give an incentive. Well, I'm going to try my best, pal. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not going to stop playing at this point. I mean, I'm going to stop playing tonight, but I'm not going to quit the game. Um, but thank you for the incentive. I'm glad you had fun. I bet it's I bet it's possible. Good night, Joey. Thanks for stopping by. Well, so we're heading back down to the I don't know, the courtyard looking area. Didn't find anything new to do up there. Um, oh, there's another sphere. So that's another planet. So, so there's like the Earth, I guess Earth, and then a green planet, and then a gray planet. And purple planet and maybe a tree planet oh yeah and then this yellow stuff so I've, I've duplicated somehow or maybe this is the earth-like planet Ugh. they're definitely color themed but I don't know what's going on um, so despite being able to spin this, I don't see anywhere else to go other than the start and, um, and through the edge.
So I think we're back to the start and I haven't found anything. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We, <laughs> we've been playing this game for seven and a half hours. I feel like we figured out a lot of stuff and it's been awesome. I'm super glad that I decided to play this. Um, I hope something's, something's beeping, but we'll, we'll figure it out next time. Um, so thank you all for watching and um, stop by Discord, link below if you want to figure out when the next abduction stream is or when the next any stream is. Um, so have a nice night, everybody, and I hope to see you again.